I'm here to talk to you. May God be praised that um, Lolo, your mother, is here. This is a year and few months of a former king, your father, Igbo Doka, died. Since then, we have been living without a king. What is your plan to take your father's position as the next in line? Um, I know we have spoken well as a very good elder of this kingdom. You see, um, I've been thinking of what you've just said. My mind is there. But there's some things I need to sort out first before I mount the throne of Anima Kingdom. Which is? I know we know that as years goes by, things changes. Things are not the way it used to be when my forefathers and my late father were ruling the kingdom. Okay? I need to upgrade myself. My forefather and my father, Ibe Udoka, were illiterate. Then, I wouldn't want to be like them. I would want to make a change. What I mean by saying that is that I would want to go to school and become a graduate. Probably get a job, make some money, before I mount the throne of Anima Kingdom. I don't want to be an illiterate just like my forefathers and my late father. So I would want to go to school and get more exposed before I rule this kingdom. Well, um, no, no. You heard yourself. What do you have to say? So, if I may ask, because I'm confused, if I heard you well, you said you want to go to the university and become a graduate before you can be crowned as the king of this kingdom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I may ask you again, where do you think you can get money to achieve that? Because going to the university in this country today is not a small thing. Mama, no. We are poor. We don't have money. Mama, I know we are poor. We don't have money. We are not rich here. Yeah. But I still believe that there are some families that we are better than. And their children still go to university. Yes. The main thing is for me to enter university. I don't know how it's going to happen. I'm not certain. But I believe in my heart that God will see me through. That mm. is it. Uh, please, uh, Beyond your dream to get Western education, I will also want you to understand the risk and danger of leaving this throne vacant until up to four to five years waiting for your graduation. Someone need to mount the throne to handle the affairs of this kingdom alone making. Oh no, you're right. But before then, I am going to tell you and the cabinet members on what to do. Um, Chief, you're welcome. Mm. To what do I or do we owe this visit? Mm. Because I know you. <laughs> you never came around when the ego died, my father. So well, I'm wondering why you're here now. Uh, well, I express my apologies. Uh, when the Igwe died, I was far away in America. 
on the medical check. Oh, he dodged it on the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually express my condolence. Okay. And don't you think that we express my condolence just like that? Uh. Express my condolence. Please. <laughs> That's 200 hours. Thank you so much, Chief. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Chief Ikoko, thank you so much. May the gods of our land bless you. To say. You. <laughs> um, because yeah, I came around so we can uh, discuss something very, very important as it affects the kingdom. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, when I came yesterday, I met some elders. I was told you're planning to go to the university to become a graduate. You understand? And I was very happy. Yeah. 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 For you to say, okay, I want to be a graduate before I mount the throne for Norma Kingdom shows that your future is great. Your future yeah. is bright. Right. Yes. And um, I have come to make this easier. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, let me show you something. Well, this is 30 million naira. Yes. Wow. Yes, as uh, the king of this great kingdom, I don't want you to go through the university struggling, looking for what to eat, looking for what to do or whatever. Okay. okay. So I decided to like put this money together to make this easier for you. Yes, so you can buy whatever you want to buy. We, we take 30 million, it's a huge amount of money. Yeah, it is. Yes. Um, but I want to let you know that while you are away, the Loma Kingdom should not be left just like that. The seat of the king must not be left empty without someone sitting there. It mustn't be left desolate. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And I, I am in that position to do that while you are studying. And when you come back, you have what belongs to you. What? Chifiko, <laughs> do you realize what you've just said now? That my son should... I'm going wait. I'm the one in question here. Let me handle it, okay? Um, Chief, what you're trying to say is that I should hand the throne of Aloma Kingdom to you. I should hand it over to you. And when I'm done with school and come back to this kingdom, that you're ready to hand it over to me as the rightful owner. And you seem it's as easy as that. Why shouldn't it be easy? Is it mine? It's never my throne. I'm only just staying in for you. And so when you come back and you're ready to return back to the throne, it's all yours. Gozi, what are you trying to do? Mama, it's okay. It's okay. We're talking about 30 million naira here. Are you going to sponsor my education? Or don't you know what 30 million naira can do for me? It can go a long way. But, Chief, what I'm trying to say now is this. I've heard what you said. But I'll try to call the members of the cabinet to come around and we sit and hold a meeting. Then I can do exactly what you said before them. But before that, I am going to keep the money. The money is yours. I'm in agreement with what you have said concerning meeting with the elders to discuss, to have a judge on the issue. Yeah. Um, I want to assure you that when this comes true, more money. More money. <laughs> okay. Yes. I've, I've heard you. I've heard you. Yeah. I would love to do all that before the elders in yeah. cancer. Yes. I've heard you. It's right. okay. So what time are we looking at? When should I get a feedback from you? Um, 
You hear from me tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Less than two days. Okay? It's alright. I'll be leaving now. No, no. Yeah, busy. Take care of yourself, alright? No, we don't want to. <laughs> Uh, really can't hear. What do you think you do? Um, let you go here. Wait, wait, let me understand you. You mean Chief Ikoku was here yesterday and said all this? He was here. He mentioned the amount, 30 million naira, hey. and showed me the thing in the cash inside a bag. 30 million naira? Yes. I nearly fainted hey. when I saw the money. So, uh, what did you tell him? Um, I told him that I'm going to sleep over it and get back to him. Him, uh, Hey, Uramaka, Omaka. Now that you have slept over it, what is in your mind? Because 30 million naira is a big money. It's not uh, uh, the kind of money one can easily reject. Eh? Because it will go a long way in someone's life. Eh? Uh, it's a question of uh, 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 four or five years. Eh? You, you demand for your children back. Eh? Uh, After oh. all, uh, 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 what do you get in being the You are still a small boy. What do you be, get in uh, being the uh, well, So what you're saying now is that I should go ahead and accept the offer. Exactly. Exactly. After your forefathers and your your, your father uh, 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 let Igwe Udoga, they ruled this country for many years. What did that achieve? Nothing. Huh? Collect the money because it will, it, will, it, has a, it will go a long way in your life. Huh? Sure, is it because of the money you said that my forefathers ruled this country or this kingdom? You I mean this kingdom. Uh, they ruled this kingdom. But... but they did not achieve anything because they don't have the money. So I should, yeah. I should accept the offer. That is what you're saying. If you ask me, accept it. Okay, I accept will it. do as you said. But I would want you to call all the cabinet members because I, I would love to hand this throne over to him in front of everyone. Aye, in the presence of everyone. Aye, Oku Amaka. Aye, Prince Gazia, Oku Amaka. <laughs> and this is where you bring the 30 million naira. At least I will see. <laughs> I will do that. Um, Chifikoku, that boy was proving so stubborn. But I was able to convince him to accept the offer. Oh. Mm. Really? Yeah. So he's ready to abdicate the seat for me. Huh? I mean, uh, the throne is mine now. Don't you trust me? Yeah. I did my job well, but <laughs> remember your promise of making me know what this kingdom was. Agreement is agreement, though. I know why I'm saying this. Now. Agreement is agreement. <laughs> Have you heard of anyone within the community that says I have disappointed him or her? Or somebody calls me. Uh, no, <laughs> I have integrity. Well, I have not heard of that in this village. But in the city, I'm not living there with you. Because this time around, you cannot trust anybody. That's why I'm reminding you of our agreement. Agreement is agreement. You will make me do know of this community, of this kingdom. Okay, family like man. Relax your mind. Okay. Agreement is agreement. And I will not disappoint you. Okay. But uh, if you go, I have one question to ask you. And this question is very, very, very important. Yes, okay. okay. What if that boy Chico is here? After four or five years, he demand for his student back. Will you give it to him? Oh, what kind of question is that? I know why I'm asking. Will you give the tool back to him? 
you mean after becoming a king for three, four, five years, I will not go back as a common man? Okay. That's not possible. At the worst level, I will demand for my money knowing that he will not be able to provide it. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That means I will be, be the no for the rest of my life. Definitely. Ah. Chivigoku. Huh? Chivigoku. Huh? Chivigoku. Huh? <laughs> Omaka. Yes. Omaka. 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 Um, I'm um, happy. Because I'm happy. America, no, I just wanted to. Because you've done some good job. Uh, yes. Hold this. Okay. This is for me. Yes. I am okay. <laughs> it's not matter that I have more than this. You know, my son is a rich man and I'm also rich. So this thing is just nothing. I will manage it. Just for you to have a uh, uh, No day problem. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 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 My elders, you're welcome. You. I greet you all. I call this urgent meeting for a very important information. Um, I just want to tell you all that I will be going away for some time for the betterment of this kingdom. You know, I do not want to mount the throne of Anioma Kingdom as an illiterate, just like my forefather and the late Igwe, my father. You all know they, they were all illiterates. So I want to go back to school. I want to go to the university and become a graduate. Make money. Get exposed before I mount the throne of Aloma Kingdom. Okay, let me not bore you with uh, my excuses of going back to school. The most important thing why I called you here is that Chief Ikoku here wants to buy the throne of Aloma Kingdom. We discussed that he is going to buy it over and become the Igwe while I'm away from this kingdom. Oh my God. And we concluded that once I'm done with university and come back, that he is going to hand the throne back to me. And the Chie Chikeze supported him. He brought the sum of 30 million naira. 30 million. To buy the throne of Anima Kingdom. Uh, um, um, wait a minute, uh, Prince uh, Gozier. Are you saying that the uh, chief uh, Ikoku here offered you the sum of 30 million naira to do what? Over the throne of Aloma? You heard him right. <laughs> Are you deaf? That's exactly what he said. Hey! Um, the You heard uh, the prince. Does anyone have anything to say? Um, well, um, there is no need for too much talk in this issue. Uh, let the Prince Gozi tell us his mind concerning this issue. Then we, the elders, we will know how to comment. Wherever you stand is where I stand. Thank you. Please, you go here. Tell us what, what you have in mind. This is the bag of money, 30 million naira, that Ichie Ikoku brought so I can hand over the, 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 the throne of our Loma kingdom to him. But I've slept over it and then um, I've come to a conclusion that he might not do 
as he said. So I've decided and concluded that Ono here is going to be acting as the Igwe of Aloma Kingdom huh? till I'm back to this kingdom. Huh? Why me? And so shall it be. Well, why me, Prince? Ono, Ono, Ono. So, Chief Ikoku, here is your money. I don't need it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me understand something here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Stop this, your pretendious whatever. Stop this nonsense. This your nonsense. Uh, so, this has been your plan all this while. It was my decision. It's not in honor with me. But both of you planned it together. This is ah, what's all this? This is rubbish. I am talking and you are talking. You just keep this talking and you are talking. Ah, oh, chief, you do your chief, plan. Chief, uh, chief, 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 wait for me. I'm coming. Don't go with that money. I'm coming. So this will be your plan. Yeah, because yeah, let me tell you the implication of what you did in case if you don't know. Asking no, no, we here to be the boy of this kingdom means that he should be marrying your uh, your mother. Hey, hey. What? Can what? I your mother up and down. What's yeah? your plan? No, no, I like you know. It's your chickens. Watch your tongue. I like you know. I said you should watch your tongue, chickens. Shut up and stop saying. Shut up. Yes. Mwah, shut up. What is wrong with you? What man here? Man here. Yeah. Go see. Why do you like poverty? Chivigo ko offered you thirty million naira. Thirty million naira. Don't turn yourself to a traditional to fear kwa. Don't worry. Please, let's talk. You want to be with me? Igwe. Okay, kitchen. Oh. Okay. Like. Where is Leka? Uh, she should be inside. Call her on Like. This one that you want to see in Leka. I hope there's no problem. What kind of question is that? Must there be a problem before I talk to my daughter? Uh, no, my, I don't mean it that way. Please, I'm sorry. Neka! Neka! Your father wants to see you. I'm out here. Your father was saying, Sit down. When are you going back to school? Papa, tomorrow. All the things you told me you needed in school, have you bought them? Papa, no. Um, I wanted to ask you yesterday for some money to buy the things, but you went out very early and came back late. So I said I'll wait till morning to tell you, not until Mama told me you wanted to see me. Neka, yes, you are my only daughter. I want you to feel free. Whatever you need to graduate, always feel free to ask me. Okay, Papa. I made up my mind to sponsor your university education because I want you to be an important person in this society. Okay. You need to go and make the list. Let me know how much is involved. But you have to make me a promise that you graduate in that school as a first class student. Uh -uh. Papa, Papa, don't you trust me? Don't you trust your brilliant daughter? Of course, I will make you proud. I will make you very proud of me. <laughs> I believe you, my dear. You better do. You better do. Because if you disappoint me, you will not like my action. Because I will skin you alive. Not only that, I will disown you. Hey. Nay. Take it easy now. The threat is too much. Do you want her to run away out of fear? You keep quiet. You keep quiet. Do you know how much I'm spending on her? I have to let her know because who much is given, much is expected. So she wouldn't mess up. Nay, I understand you're spending too much on her. Well, that's not enough reason for you to be threatening her like that, eh? Mama, see, don't worry. Just leave, Papa. Don't worry. 
See, and by the time I'm done with school, when I graduate, <laughs> when Papa see me, he will be so proud of me. Okay, I'm so so proud. Papa, I don't believe worry. You. Uh, well, I pray. That's all I pray. That's all I wish for. Okay. Papa, don't worry. Just uh, calm down. Go and make the list and bring it. Let me know how much. Papa, I've done that already. Okay, bring the list. Let me look at it. Thank you so much. I'm doing my responsibility. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Yes, Is it? You look worried. Mama, yeah, uh, why wouldn't I be worried? Why wouldn't I be worried? Had I known I wouldn't have entered university at all. Mama, it's so hard. School is so hard. Yeah? There's a lot I need to sort out. And there's no money for it. Where do I get money to sort things I need to sort out in school? Eh? I'm just in the middle of nowhere. Jebe jebe adema, naba naba adema. What do I do? But being in this mood will not help it. You should have shared it with me since, so that we rub minds together and know what to do. What do I do now? What do I do now? I don't want to be a school dropout. Maybe I will look for somewhere or somebody to borrow money from. A letter I pay back. Ah, Mama, don't go there. No, 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 no. Don't even say it. Not because I, I, I needed money for something. I will listen that the Queen of Aloma Kingdom will start going out and start begging or uh, asking people for money because I want to go to school. No, I, I'm not. I'm not in support of it at all. Then what do we do? What's your plan? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Okay, 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 Mama. I think I have to call Chief Ikoku mm -hmm. to bring back that 30 million naira. Yes. Maybe I'll ask him to come and take over the throne of Aloma Kingdom. And, and give me the 30 million dollars, so I'll go back to school. If he, even if I tell him to pay 50 million naira, he will pay because he's so desperate. She goes, say, shut up. Mama, he's so desperate. I said you should shut up. You are more desperate now. You are more desperate than him. What are you saying? Eh? What will people say when they hear that you sold out the inheritance of this family just because of school fees? Eh? Mama. Something your father could not do, not even your forefathers. Mama, what people think or what people will say does not matter this time around. Okay? Doesn't matter this time around. I don't care. In some situations, you don't have to care what people will say or what people will think. Mama, 30 million naira is involved. I need to go back to school. This man is so desperate to become the ego of this. I mean, let him be the ego and then I'll go to school and do what I want I to do. I said, no. Capital, no. You will not do it. Let's look for another way out. What are you saying? Mama, what I'm saying is, let me win my something. Mama, I just want to. Prince, I don't understand. What do you need Chief Ikoko's number? Um, oh no, please. I need that number. Okay? I need I need to sort out some things. Are, are you giving me the number or not? This has not answered my question. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Uh, oh no, right now I don't want to know what you're thinking. I don't even know what you're thinking. What I want is Chief Ikoko's number. In a name. I will not give you his number 
until you tell me the reason behind this. I'm not comfortable with you. Okay, Ono, oh since you want to know, I will tell you. Ono, oh I need money from Chifikoku, like 50 million naira, to and, and he will take over the throne of Fab. Uh, hey! He's desperate to be the king now, so let, let me sell it and use money and do something very Stop nice. that! Stop it! This is an abomination in a Roma's kingdom. What you have just said now is a sacrilege. Do you want to die? You want to sell the throne for 50 million? Ha! Now let me tell you, just in case you don't know. But you and Chifikoku will not live to see the next day if you try this. Oh no, on a camera, I'm dying of hunger and I'm holding the throne. I need the money to sort out things. J school, many things. Do you want to die? You want to die and leave your poor mother behind? After all the promises I made to your father, I will not live to see this happen. Just how much do you need? Hmm? How much do you need? Absent-minded. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> you can tell me nothing. I mean, you and I know that you're not fine. So what is it? Are you in my mind to know that I'm fine or I'm not fine? It's written all over you. You're not fine. I mean, you're sitting here all alone, no friends, and... You look absent-minded. Or? Wait. Did you have a problem with your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend? A good-looking guy like you don't have a girlfriend in this school. Huh? Is that even possible? Just tell me the truth. What is the problem? I said, there's no problem. I'm here to study. Not to do boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm, I'm here to, to learn. You know, you're making me confused. Okay, fine. You don't have a girlfriend. So what makes you happy? Reading my books. Be focused on what I'm here to do. So I can come out with flying colors and make my family proud. See, Paul, oh. I've got to be very, very honest with you. I don't like the way you treated your girlfriend, Nick. I don't like it. Eh? All because of that girl, that useless girl. Nika loves you. And she doesn't deserve to be hurt by someone like you. She doesn't deserve it at all. I don't understand. What's wrong with you? No, no, no. Wait till they bring these levels now. What do you mean you don't like the way I treated Nika? Or oh, because of that girl? Who are you referring to as that girl? Look, they're all my girlfriends. I'm entitled to have as many girlfriends as I want. Alright? Besides, you should know that we don't keep one girlfriend. Yes, we spread our tentacles. We spread our eggs in different baskets. In case, if one fuck up, we switch to the next. Who they ready to cry for heartbreak? What is wrong with you? Huh? There is money, there is affluence, there is power. What do you want more? Guy flex, carry any woman. In fact, if you don't get money, I'll go sponsor you. Carry any woman. So they follow one girlfriend, they run up and down. Look, Neka loves me, my guy. She has no option 
a fine guy, a rich guy, you know, guy with guess what? She loves me. She will always come back to me, bro. Always. Don't forget that. Oh, did you just listen to yourself? I so mean, you're bragging. You're bragging with your parents' money now that you're a rich guy, you're this, you're that. So you know Nika loves you. You're taking advantage of that girl's love for you. You're milking the situation. You're treating her like trash. And you're here telling me you're rich because your parents have money. Right? So I've told you what I will tell you. She will get. Keep bragging about your parents' wealth. No problem. I've told you what I will tell you. So, Samson, all the while you've been jealous in me. Excuse me? What kind of jealous is that? Why would I be jealous of you? Are you paying my school fees? Are you, are, are you even feeding me? No, what did they give me now? What did they gain from you? I don't understand. Just because I'm telling you the truth now, you're telling me I'm jealous. Right? Like this friendship remains in Hey, you, you they follow me, Waka now. You, you they gain women, you they gain power, you they gain, you know, association, you know? But you they mad. What did they worry you? No, tell me, if you're not jealous of me, then tell me, why would you say I am spending my parents' money? Don't you have parents? Why don't you go spend your own parents' money? If I'm not feeding you, I'm not doing any of this thing, then why are you hanging out with me? That What's wrong with you? Me. That parents won't touch me, but no wahala. Which one be saying no wahala? Why would you be telling me that it's because I'm spending my parents' money? Yeah, 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 yeah. All because of Nika. Bro, calm down. See, I've told you. Nika will always come back. She cannot leave me. Just, you know, there are certain things you should be thinking about right now, like how to read and pass our tests. And you know, say now you're back, I do. I know read do. Mm. Now you go help me pass that test. Instead of you to be reading to pass the test for us, you they talk about Nika, carrying Nika for her. It's not nice now. Don't worry, Nika will come back to me. She can't leave me. Nika will come back. She to can't. Me. Paul, have you thought of the fact that while you're waiting for this girl to come begging, to come crawling back to you as usual, she can actually move on with another guy? You never think of Eh, eh, eh. Allah, my dear, God forbid. Nobody will try it in this campus. I mean, look at me now. Soft guy, money, cars. Bro, what else do they want? What else do women want? If not the soft life, yeah? And besides, even if she try her, nobody got one poop about you. Now, Poloski, they talk. I will frustrate them with Confra. I swear. I mean, how? Think about it now. Why would you leave a lion chasing rats? She won't dare it, bro. She won't dare it. I beg. Mean, Enter car, we we'll go find somewhere to eat. The sun too much. My follow you do it. My follow you go chop. Tomorrow we now go talk saying that you defeat me. No be so. Anyways, my tell you what I want to tell you. Money is not everything. And two, that your confra where you carry for head like this, where your own madness ends. That day another person will start. Have that in mind. No problem. Let's go. Oh God, bouncing. Let's go and uh, look for something to eat. Make and make and make. Hmm. Well, since you said you don't have a girlfriend and what you need is money to solve your school problem, um, I'll help you. How do you do that? Because I don't even know what to do now. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm very confused. I don't even know how to get the money to do what I want to do. Yes. I said it's okay. Like I said, I will help you. Hmm? So why don't you get up? Let's look for any POS around so I can withdraw some money and give to you so you can use to solve the most important ones. I don't understand. You want to give me money? You don't even know me. I don't have to know you before I help you. I just want to help you. Okay, so get up and let's look for any POS around.
Where were you last night? Where the hell were you? I was calling your number and you're not picking my calls. I mean, like, you see my calls, you don't pick them anymore. Where were you? Babe, I'm sorry, please. I, I you, you were what? You were digging out of placenta from where? That's why you're not picking my calls? Who is doing that nonsense with you? Babe, it's not what you think. I said I am sorry. Okay, let me explain, explain what happened. Explain what exactly? Explain what exactly? Have you lost your senses or what? Oh, because I stooped so low to be dealing with a chaff like you? Don't you see the women that flock around me in school? Are you better than them? Are you crazy? Have you forgotten the son of who I am? Or have you forgotten who I am in this school? Well, let me remind you. I am the son of the multi-billionaire. Chief Ezego PLC. Alright? You don't dare miss my calls! You don't! Rubbish! Guy, something more will come up for here, beg. Let's get out of this place. Uh, Paul, please, please, let me drop my two cents on this. I do not like the way you're talking to me. Please, I don't like it. Honestly, it's not fair. It's not. Are you mad? You're mad. You've, com you've completely gone mad. You go to hell, bro. If you don't like it, you fucking go to hell. Mangam, mangam. What do you do? You try and. Or are you to go to hell? I'm telling you the truth. And you're telling me to go to hell. How dare you? Are you insane? Do you think I'm naked that you can talk to anyhow? Eh? You think I'll be naked if they follow talk anyhow? Oga, allow this girl to talk and let her tell you why she wasn't able to pick your course. And I night. said I won't let her do that. Alright? I will not let her do that. What can buy to Kai say about what? Eh? You want to continue being a bitch? Get into the car, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Don't be where they go, Please, I'm sorry now. Don't you dare touch me. Neka, I've had enough of your nonsense. Do not touch me. If you stay here, I will crush you. And trust me, I have money, I will bury the case. Your parents won't know a thing about it. Paul, I said I'm sorry now, my love. Baby, please. Get the hell out of this place! Get out! Let me see you call me and see. Call me, just one time. You see what I'll do to you. Neka, Neka, what, what's the issue? <laughs> I saw, I, I, I saw Paul kicking and pushing you. What happened? What did you do to him this time? I didn't do anything. Just because he called me and he called me when I was sleepy, so I wasn't able to pick the call. And, and when I woke up, I tried calling him back, but my battery went off. Just that? Did you explain that to him? Was, exactly that. I was trying to explain, but he wouldn't even listen. He didn't let me explain myself. What sort of nonsense is that? What is even wrong with that guy, Seth? Why is he always acting as if he's the only student in this campus that, is, that came from a rich home? See, Nick, I told you before, quit this nonsense called relationship. What is it? Every time it's always embarrassing you. The whole campus <laughs> now is, is even aware of it. Tina, Tina, shut up! Shut up! What do you know about relationship? What do you know about love? My dear, don't worry, eh? You will go and apologize to him. He will forgive you. You know, you know Paul has anger issue. And you are at fault. So you go and apologize. Okay? Eh? Apollo what? Tina, shut up! Shut up! When, 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 when people that are in relationship are talking, you, you single person like this, yeah? Me, single. Sweetheart, you will definitely apologize. And you must apologize. He will forgive you. Okay? You make a red flag, so let's keep going. Red flag. <laughs> See, that guy doesn't know you. You like it? Yeah. See, we should do this more often, you know? Okay. In this campus, once you're rolling with all the big guys, you have no problem. And every other thing. 
I will always. What is going on? Who's this lady? How dare you? Neka, what makes you think you can walk into my house uninvited? Have you lost your senses? Uninvited, you say? I asked you a question. I said, who is this lady? And why is she sleeping close to you half naked? Hey, who is half naked? You mean me? It's okay, baby. Okay, um, Miss Nika, whatever your name is, this is Jovita, my sweetheart. I have asked you a question, is it? Now get out. Why are you doing this? What have I done to deserve this? Oh, since we started dating, you are the first and only man that has seen my nakedness. You are the only man that has made love to me. But this is the third time. The third time I am seeing you with different girls. What did I do to deserve this? Why are you doing this to me, Paul? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? Paul? Are you crazy? My name is Paul. The only son of the multi-billionaire in this country. What is wrong with you? I have the liberty of sleeping with as many women as I want. And you think you can stop me? No, you can't. What is there in seeing your nakedness by the way? What is wrong with you? I don't hear showing me tears of... Just get the fuck out of my house. Get out! I know why you're doing all this. I know. Because you know that I love you so much. And because you know that I will stupidly come to you to apologize. Wait, do you think I love you because you're wealthy? Oh, you have really pushed me to the wall. You have humiliated and you've embarrassed me enough. I will tell you that my family doesn't eat sand. You can go to hell for all I care. It's over. I am done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the door on your way out. You're done. I was done since 1990. Crazy. Neka, you mean Paul did this to you? No wonder I've been calling your line and you weren't speaking. I know something was wrong. It's because he knows I love him so much. It's because he knows that, that I can do anything for him. Gloria, you and I know how much I have sacrificed in this relationship. No. I have done everything just to please Paul. There is nothing I have not done. You know, Paul is the first and only man I have ever known in my life. Do you know that at times when we have problems and he's the one at fault, I even go to him to apologize just because I want peace to reign. Yet he's not satisfied. I don't know what else to do. That is why it's not good to love a man like that. It is not good at all because there is nothing you would do that can ever please a man. There is nothing you would do to please a man. Would you pray? We'll go together. I've decided to move on without Paul. I'm tired. I'm no longer going to beg him anymore. We both go there. And I will talk some senses into him. Okay? No, no. I don't want you to do that. I've decided to let Paul go. I don't want you to talk to him. I, I know it's because you're hot. Hmm? Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Personally, I'll go. I said no. Make her your heart. I don't want you to do that. I'm fine. I'm not crying again. <laughs> Sure. It was a mistake. I think it was a mistake. Just go, Ria. Just, just. It's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Make her your words. Make her stop this. 
Who is this unlucky girl? Why is she doing all this for me? Someone she doesn't know from anywhere. She just saw me in school for the first time and gave me money to solve my school problems and even promised to give me more. Can such things still be possible in this new generation? She's a nice girl, but what will I use to pay her back? Or should I? No, no. No, I have to take it easy and watch her closely to know where she's coming from. Gozie, how are you? I'm fine too. Um, where are you? In your house? Okay, I I want to come and see you. There is something very important I want us to discuss. No, 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 no. There's no problem at all. No problem. Okay. So just send me the address of your house and I'll be on my way. All right. Thank you. your house? Yes, this is my house. Okay. You, know, you sounded very urgent on the phone. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. It's just that I have something very important to tell you. Oh, okay. Do you want us to go inside or are you comfortable here? Uh, let's go in. Please sit. What do I offer you? I don't know the type of drink you take. Um, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. You don't mm -hmm. need to bother yourself. You can be fine. This is the first time you're coming to my house. In my village, we don't do like that. But I have something here. Please, manage this. Okay? Like my cousin, right? 
I I know you'll be surprised that I came to your house. Yes, I said this for you came to visit me. Surprisingly, I mean, it must be very important thing that made it to come. Yes, it's very important. Cause he, I want to tell you something. Okay. Yes, I I have something to tell you before I tell you the reason why I'm here. Okay. I'm listening. There was a guy, there's this guy in our campus. His name is Paul. He's from a very wealthy home. He doesn't lack anything in life except manners. He was my boyfriend, but he had numerous girlfriends on campus. I tried talking to him to change his lifestyle, but he didn't listen to me. So a few weeks ago, I went to pay him a visit at his house. I met a different girl lying on his body half naked. And when I confronted him, he started insulting me and calling me all sorts of names. I, I felt really hurt, so I angrily left his place. But before I left, I told him that I was done with the relationship. And that was how I ended everything till date. I'm sorry about that, but I don't know why all these rich men children, you know, I don't know why they like living rough life, if I may ask. I, don't know. I always ask myself that question. I don't know. And the one that pains me the most is that it's the first and only man that has seen my nakedness to a bit. I'm so sorry about that. But, but why are you telling me all this? Do you want me to go talk to him for you? No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. It's over between us and I don't even care whether he exists or not. I don't. Now let me tell you the reason I'm here. Cosi, the first time I met you, I saw this humility and respect in you. Especially when you told me that you don't have a girlfriend. It made me see you as a responsible man. I want you in my life. I am ready to do anything for you. As long as you promise that you're not going to hurt me as Paul did. I love you and I'm ready to date you. It's okay, yeah. I've, I've had you. You know, just that I am not that kind of guy. I'm not just into women. I'm very focused on that. So babe, how did he go with the lecturer? Hmm. Did he give you carryover? Eh? Carryover? No. He didn't give me any carryover. You see, I don't know why people love to tarnish the image of that lecturer. If you see the way girls in this campus talk about this man, they say that before you can pass his course, it's either he sleeps with you or you must pay him a huge amount of money. Hmm. And this same lecturer I went to his office today and he didn't mention anything like that. Wow. And I passed his course perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should trust your woman. You see, that's why it's not good to condemn and judge people like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bad. Neka. You know, it's, it's, it's just... Something. Um, hey, please, excuse me. Let me see my friend, yeah? I'll be back. It's okay. Hi, Samson. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Um, who is that guy? Oh, 
You mean Gozie? I don't know his name. Oh, his name is Gozie and he's my boyfriend. What? How about my friend Paul? Samson, are you the one asking this question? Have you forgotten how Paul treated me? Okay, did he even tell you what he did to me when I went to his house? No, he never told me anything of such. No, tell me, what happened? Go and ask him, he's your friend. And please, I'm keeping my boyfriend waiter. Excuse me. Babe, mm -hmm. sorry for keeping you waiter. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I heard everything. You did? Yes. Come on, let's leave here. Mm -hmm. You want us to go? I just don't want Samson, what exactly are you trying to make me understand? I don't get you. How do you mean you don't get me? I'm frankly speaking, since when did you turn deaf and dumb that you can't hear clearly? Since when? You're, you're, you're saying that my necker, my own necker, that you saw my own necker with another guy, doing what exactly? Sorry, I didn't bring you up to speed. Nika has a lot of relatives, cousins, all right? Uh, probably you saw one of her relatives, huh? Because that guy cannot be his boyfriend. Are you crazy? What do you mean? Nika is mine and mine alone. Do you understand me, Samson? Nika is solely mine. Do you understand? It's just a matter of time before she comes begging and you know it. So you just stop with all this nonsense, all right? Stop it already. Oh. oh, do you know you are a fool? What? I am telling you that I saw Neka with a man. That girl has moved on. I didn't just see her with a man. I saw her with a man that looks way more responsible than you are. Do you understand? I remember I warned you. I warned you, I said, Andy, this girl with care. Stop taking advantage of the fact that she loves you. But no, you said she will always come back with you. I body don't do you now. She has moved on. Enough. Enough. Please take me to a house. Me? Take you to a house? Like, you don't even know your way to break us out again. Um, Jovita! Get out, I want to go somewhere. My brother, don't get out of my car, I want to go somewhere! Are you mad? Don't shout at me, I'm already going down. Get the hell out! Get in now, let's go. You're not going with me? I want you. Fools. What was the meaning of that? You are calling me fool? What do you want? You sent someone to call me. Let me call you back later. Get into the car. I want us to go somewhere. Else. As what? Your slave or house girl? You're even commanding me with authority. You know what? I don't even know why I came out here in the first place. What do you want? Are you mad? No, I mean, are you stupid? Am I the one you're talking to like that? Hmm. Well, I forgive you. Get into the car. I want us to go somewhere and talk. And who are you, if I may ask? No, what? who are you? You're commanding me to get into the car. Let's go somewhere and talk about what? No, what do you want to talk about? If you have something to say, you say it. Else I'll leave this place. So it is true what Samson told me then. It depends on what he told you. 
that you've been flourishing around town with one useless guy like that. And when he confronted you, you told him he's your boyfriend. How dare you? Have you lost your senses? You are mad. You are mad to open your stinky mouth and call your fellow man useless. Besides, I don't owe you an explanation with whom I go out with or not. We are no longer together. I have my own life to live. So what he said is true then? It is true what he said? Yes. It's true. Mm -hmm. Now get out of this place. What? Why am I even stressing myself? If you like, you can stay here as long as you want. Neka, am I the one you're talking to like that? Neka! Yes. Neka! Yes. I swear to God, I will make sure you sink in this school. But you and that idiot, I will sink all of you, all of you. Oh no, you're welcome. Oh. Hi, Prince. How is school? Ah, school? School is not easy as we thought. Ah, I see. Yes, it's very hard. You know, every... The country is too hard. You know, no one cares to give you. So, once you're in school, in the four walls of school, you're on your own. But anyway, that's not the case I called you. I called you here to say thank you for all the things you've been doing since I've been away from this kingdom. My mother told me a lot of things you've done for this kingdom. And I really appreciate. You know, if not that, the throne of Aloma Kingdom is, is unshiftable. I would have asked you to mount the throne. Oh, no, 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 Prince. <laughs> Do not say the unimaginable, please. Yes, I know it's not possible. I'm just insinuating. But well, all the same, thank you so much for all you've done. My son, to be candid with you, I am not only doing all this because of the love I have for you and the kingdom. I am also doing it because of the love I have for your late father, our Igwe Igwe Udoka. He was a good man and my bosom friend. By me looking at you, you are no different from your father. And I know one day when you mount the throne of your father, you will do more greater things than your father ever achieved. Exactly. Exactly. You know, thank you so much. Well, one more thing. The case between the Ibunekus family and um, Okoji's family will be coming up on the next uh, for market day. Oh. And your presence is badly needed. Um, I don't know, I don't think I'm needed there. Whatever you do in that case stands. I trust your judgment. I trust it when you spill the truth. But I, I, as it pleases you, my prince. Thank you. Please, wait up. I have always told your mother not to be worried as I'm so good. Each time you are away from the school, she'll be telling me, yeah, I don't know what my son will be in that place. Ah, going back to school is not easy. <laughs> My love, there was something you told me yesterday about your house rent. And I want us to discuss it. Okay. You see, the day I spoke to you about this relationship, I made a promise to you that I will solve any of your problems in school until you graduate. Yeah. But there is something very important attached to it. Something important attached to it? What is it? When I was 18 years old, I made a promise to myself that the first man that would see my nakedness or make love to me would become my husband. And that I would sacrifice anything for him. Though I made my first mistake when I dated Paul, 
the beast. I did everything I could to save our relationship. But later, I found out that the more I tried, the more it get worse. Ever since then, I decided to forget anything about men. Until I met you, everything changed. Gozier, I don't want to make a second mistake. I don't want to be hurt anymore. I just want to know what, what do you have in mind towards me? What are your intentions? Because I, I'm confused. Why is it that you didn't ask me this question before we started? Why not that we've done everything a boyfriend and a girlfriend could do? Honestly, I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, when I met you and I asked you if you have a girlfriend, and you said no. I doubted you initially. I thought you were lying to me. But when I watched you closely, I realized that you were telling me the truth. And I lost control because men like you are rare. They're very hard to find. So now the whole thing is like this. What do you really want from me? I... I want us to... I want us to get married. Yes. I want us to get married after we graduate. Get a good job. Raise a beautiful family together. Look, I'm sorry I'm, I'm saying this first. I'm just... It's just how I feel. It's okay. It's okay. Don't bother yourself. I am going to sleep over it and tell you my mind later. Okay? Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's my fault that I didn't tell you about myself. I, I didn't really tell you who I am because I can't just open my mouth and tell you something that I cannot do because of who I am. Who you are? Are you married? No, 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 no. I am not married. Then not. what is it? What, what are you not telling me? My love, don't worry. When the time comes, I'm going to tell you my mind. I will tell you everything. She's a good girl. Well mannered. Very intelligent. She's a solo. Good person. And I think she can make a good wife. What is that thing he doesn't want to tell me to the day he tells me his mind? Let it not be that this guy is married and is hiding it from me. But what if he's married? I would just kill myself. I would kill myself if my, if my suspicion is true. I love God here so much and I don't want to lose him. God, please, I do not want to make another mistake. Please. I think I have to pray about this. Yes. I have to really pray about this. 
Oh Lord. Thank you. So babe, mm -hmm. I called you here based on the discussion we had the last time. I mean some days ago. Okay, you know I told you I was going to sleep over it, then tell you my mind. Yeah. So I've, I've decided to talk to you about myself, about who I am. You know, you know, then I said I wasn't going to talk to you and you have to give me some time, but I've concluded on what to do. Because if I had said anything to you then, based on my personality, it would affect me. Okay? But I've decided to open up to you. Neka. Yes, my love. I am a prince. I am a prince of my kingdom. And the king to be. What? Are you joking? I am not joking. That's why I'm here. To go to school and acquire more education. My forefather and my father, King Budoka, they did not go to school. So I said to myself that I must acquire more education before I mount the throne of my kingdom as the king. Wait, so you are telling me that you're a prince and the future king of your kingdom? Yes, and you are going to be the queen of my kingdom. Me? Yes. <laughs> the future queen? Yes. Do you know why? You're a good person. You have a good heart. So I've accepted to your request. <laughs> what does that mean? I am going to marry you. <laughs> oh baby, thank you so much. You're welcome, my queen. You just made me so happy. Hmm. Are you already calling me a queen? Yes, you are. <laughs> Babe, listen. I will always be here for you. Always. Hmm? Don't ever doubt that. You're welcome. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> so happy. Um, Mika, please, I am begging on behalf of my friend. Please forgive him and accept him back. He's a changed person, that I can assure you. I know you're a good girl. Um, never mind the fact that uh, my friend Paul took advantage of that. But I am begging you. You know, there's this saying that without sin, there will be no forgiveness. He has offended you. I plead that you forgive him and accept him back, please. Samson, the only reason I'm here is because of you. Else I wouldn't have come here. Let me save you this whole stress. Hmm? What you're asking is not possible. Because I am engaged. Yes. So you can tell Paul to go and find another girl. Or he could continue with those his numerous girlfriends because I am no longer available. Let me ask you. Something you don't have to say anything. If you don't mind, I want to go and meet my fiance. He has been calling my line. Monica, who is this guy you're engaged to? Oh, you want me to tell you? So you people go and kill him for Abba, me. Abba, no, no. Well, you know, I'm not like that. Bye. How 
Alpha now. What, what, what? I saw her walking out. What did she say? Paul, I warned you. I warned you. Now she said she's engaged. What? You lied me. She's engaged to someone else. Mm -hmm. Paul, I begged you now. I, I told you to beg her on my behalf now. I, I, was, I was actually sorry. And I'm still I warned sorry. you earlier to treat that girl with key. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I can do. Hi! So, baby, you're saying that when you graduate from the university, you will automatically become the king of your kingdom. Hmm. No, not do that immediately. I would love to work first, make some money, before thinking of mounting the throne of my kingdom. Hmm. So what about me? Hmm? Of course, you automatically become the queen of Aloma Kingdom. I'll become the queen. Please, that means I will be the queen, the number one women citizen of your kingdom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it because you're a nice person. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I am going to ask you a question now, and a very sensitive question, and I would want you to answer me. Hmm. Okay? Yeah, about to go to find it. What's about your... That's your boyfriend, Paul. Have you seen him? Paul. Hmm. Mm. I don't have to see him. I mean, he's a close chapter. Yes. Oh, he sent one of his friends yesterday to come see me. So apologize to me to forgive him. And what did you tell him? I told him that it's not possible. That I am engaged and no longer available. She leave me alone. Some guys are really funny. So after all he did to you, he still sent someone to come and beg you um, on behalf of him. Babe, please don't stop talking about him, please. Let's close the chapter and talk about something more interesting. As far as I'm concerned, Paul is bad news. I don't want to talk about him. It's okay. Yes. Uh, as long as you're safe from the sales. Eh? Safe? Yeah. He dare not try nonsense with me. He dare not try it. Hmm. He thinks I'm scared of him. No, sir. No. <clears throat> no problem. Just okay. be careful. Please, let's say something more interesting. So tell me, tell me about your kingdom. For instance, when I become the queen of your kingdom. In my kingdom. How many ladies am I going to yeah. chicken is in your welcome once again. Thank you, no. Uh, actually, I came to see a very important issue. I hope all is well. Well, I know all will be well if you agree. Mm. All will be well if only I agree. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I will tell you. But before I tell you that, I would like to ask you one question. What? Oh no. Does it mean you don't like good things? You are more soggy, sir? Eh? You are more soggy? You are confusing me the more. Where are all these questions coming from? Hmm. Oh no. Let me also ask you, for how long will you continue to serve that little boy, Gozier? Eh? An elderly man like you, I don't know for that matter. Why can't you use this little opportunity he gave to you and mount that throne? Eh? And become the of Aloma Kingdom? See, I have even spoken with some of our elders and all of them are agreed. Eh? Wake up. Eh? All of them agree to support you. Wake up or no. Wake up! You don't make a bomb, as it is. Just be candid to me. Have you started visiting Mogodos Pan Wine Spot? Because it's only those who visit there speaks without their brain. Do you know the gravity of what you have just said? Uh, oh no! I am trying to help you become famous and important in the society. I what is wrong with that? I don't need that type of famous and being important. So you want me to deny this boy's inheritance by betraying him to become the king? 
The throne he peacefully handed over to me until he finished his education. You want me to dethrone him, Prince Chigozie? Ah, so you want me to die before my time. That has been your wish. I thought you were my friend. You see, this thing will not work. It will not work, including your, 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 your accolades. Those that are planning with you behind us. It will not work for you people. Now, let me ask you, since you were born in this community, have you ever heard that the kinship shifted from the family of Ikemba to another family? Well, I'll answer your question. Eh? I have not seen that. But how can we allow that little boy to mount the throne when we elders are here? Eh? And what does he know about tradition? Whether he knows anything about leadership or not, it's none of your business. Neither is it the business of those you have been conniving with to, that make you to come here. You, now get out of my compound before I lose it. Yeah. Now stand there and leave my house. Chicken said. Well, no, no, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be But what I am trying to tell you now is that if you don't want it, if you don't need it, someone else. And I'll take this out of my house. This is uh, I will take it, I will go. This is, this is, this is, this is, do you know how much I want this thing? I don't care. Do you know how much I want it? I don't care if it is gold or silver. If you don't need it, so what else you need it? And I am watching that. Take your car. You have a car. I will go. No wonder. I said it. That you have started visiting Mogodos and wine church. That is why, after drinking that cup of palm wine, you will lose your senses. Next time you come here again, after drinking one of the sky time, to talk to me anyhow, I will release my dogs against you. So you came to bribe me with a bottle of golden wine, with your messages based, Gongoro, Omanle. Others are driving for magic and exotic cars. It is this motor that you have been killing people to buy from the quiet side. And you think you can bribe me with it? You are just lucky. I was thinking that this man came here for, for important thing. I didn't know he's here to, to, to disorganize my wounds today. Nine, I overheard Ishe Chikeze telling you about taking over the throne. Mm -hmm. What about it? Now, if you ask me, I suggest you should take over the throne. It's not a crime. Eh? Or is it a crime if you come the Igwe and leave your wife? Your queen. But when you're man and son, son. Wait a minute. So you are also in support for me to betray Prince Chigoze, dethrone him of the, his inheritance so that I become the king and you become the queen. Nah, yes, you deserve it. Eh? You have suffered enough for this community. Oh. I knew it! I knew that this is a calculated effort between you and the Chia Chikeze for me to go down to the drain and join my ancestors when it is not yet my time. So that when I die, two of you will now assemble, become husband and wife, him the king, you the queen. But this arithmetic formula is called zero in mathematics. It will not work. Uh -uh. No, why are you talking like this now? Now, if you say any word right now, I am going to deck you and that will simply remind you the death of your birth. Now, get out before I lose it. I'm not going anywhere now. Hey. Hey, this you're is my you're not going anywhere? Yes. This is your house? Yes. Very well, then. This matter has not ended. I will assemble all my king's men. Let them investigate this matter properly. Because Chika has been advising me from the one I was planning to marry you. He has been making exceptions of your uku. He will tell me that this uku is equal to hypertension. Now I know that all these uh, remarks is for me to die. He will take over and both of you will start from where you stopped before I married you. Huh. You think I don't know that this has been your plan with Chika He connived with you. With other people I'm yet to know, they will surface when the truth will come out. My brothers, wait, let me make call. No, I am not doing anything with Ichi Chikese. You are doing everything with Ichi Chikese. I'm not. This no. boss of eyes is not proper. An adroma. If you look at the shape of your head, you finish adroma. And that is why Chikese have the guts 
to come here to talk about dethroning this boy and you are supporting him. This is what we call conspiracy in English. And I know before conspiracy, there has been an in-house meeting plan. Good year, they meet. Nah, yeah. it's a lie. I'm not doing anything. You have been doing everything with the chicken, sir. It's a lie, nah. That is why you had the God to come here with the bottle. Uh, my fellow elders, you are all welcome. Thank you. Actually, uh, I sent for you all. Because uh, there are some issues very important I want us to sort out concerning the worship of this kingdom. That's why I sent for you. Wait, my elders. It's your chicken here. If I may ask, why is Onuo not in this meeting? Why? I wonder myself. He's supposed to be here. Um, you are right. Uh, Ono who is aware of this meeting. Uh, but when I called him this morning, to remind him, he said that uh, he has an appointment in our neighboring community that we should go ahead. That whatever we decide, uh, he will support us. Um, I don't agree with you there. Mba, mba. I don't agree with you. Because on my way to this meeting, I saw Onowu's daughter. And I asked her if Onowu was around. She said yes. Then Kizin gonna call here now I may travel. What, what are you saying? I don't understand you. Uh, it changes. It depends on what you understand by his, uh, her father is around. Huh? You asked the girl. You, saw, you said you saw the girl on your way to this meeting. Yeah. You asked after Onowu. She said that he is around. Yes. Uh -huh. Look at our community. Look at our neighboring community. Is it not the same thing? So the owner who is around. So you don't blame the girl if she says so. Anyway, let's keep that one answer. That is by the way. Eh? Eh, that is by the way. Now, let me tell you the reason I called for this meeting. Okay. I want to ask us for how long or why must we allow or waiting for that small boy, Prince Chico, is here to be crowned the equal of this great kingdom, Aloma. Mm -hmm. The boy is too small. What does he know about the leadership or tradition? Okay, let me keep that one aside. I went to Nehu a few days ago and I asked him this same question I'm asking now. Okay. But he did not say anything. I also told him that. He should use this little opportunity that small boy, Prince Gose, gave to him and demand the throne. Let him be the god of this, uh, this kingdom. He has been in this kingdom. He has served that palace for a long time. So if he is the god now, I don't see anything wrong with that. I even went to know and gave him this golden drink for him to accept or listen to what I am telling him. But to know who refused. Say that he cannot be the way. He wants to be loyal to that small boy. Now I ask you, my fellow elders. That boy has four years to stay in the university. Are you telling me that Aloma Kingdom will stay for the next four years without an Igwe? It's an insult. Besides, that boy is too small to rule this kingdom. He's too small to be the ego of Aloma Kingdom. He's too small to command us or tell us what to do. Wait, wait, wait. Let us be reasonable. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Ichi Ichi Kezi na Bazi speed. Shalom, shalom. I don't understand you. What point are you trying to make now? What exactly are you saying? Okay. Ichi Ichi Kezi. I'm not making sense. Kwade. I'm not coming to you. Sense. Kwade. Uh -huh. But I will tell you my point because I got the more former. Yes. Hmm. Good. I'm interested. I want to be the girl of Aloma Kingdom. Yes, again. Hi. I said I am interested. I want to be the girl of Aloma Kingdom, and I want you to support me and grant me the girl of Aloma Kingdom, and I will make you all happy for the rest of your life. Big way. Big way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, my fellow elders. <laughs> We all have heard what Ichi and Chikese have said. There's no room for much argument. Hmm. 
but I want to come in just to save us the time and the stress. Ichi Chikeze, we want to make certain things clear to you. That we, the elders and council, cannot go against the traditions and the culture of our land. Oh. The Igwe sheep, as you may be aware, is not in your lineage. Oh. 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 But if you are not in the ambition of becoming the Igwe of this great kingdom, you have to make it known to Ajala Oracle. Bam! But you. If he approves it, that you become the Igwe of our kingdom, so be it. But if he does not approve of it, there's nothing we can do about it. My fellow elders, have I spoken your minds? You have spoken you have spoke my own mind. Talk on. This is not a matter of uh, spoken your mind or not. Let me tell you something. What has Ajala got to do with this thing? Let, let me tell you something. Ajala or no Ajala, I must be the one of this community, this kingdom. So what, what you people should do is go home and get prepared. When I call you, you come and crown me the way. Simple. And I promise you I will make you happy for the rest of your life. Eh? Like the poverty. You are looking for something that will kill you. Oh, yes. Ezioku. You are looking for something that will kill you. Hey, I put the chair. You can go Hey, I put the chair. I will remove you from my chair. I want to achieve one kita. I need to go on easy and see. Do not toil with our tradition. Can go have that one. Because the national I'm tired of hearing all this. Yeah. Uh -uh. Hey! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mwa. Yes, Mwa you are the evil man. Mwa, evil man. Yes. You can't do anything to me. And you know. Because what is in me is bigger than what you have. Yes. And let me tell you. You cannot kill my son. As you cannot kill me, so you cannot kill my son. Because the spirit of his forefathers and of his late father are protecting him. They are guiding him. You can't do anything. So it is true. So what I've been hearing about you is true. You have been calling the meeting of the elders to support you take over the truth. Take over the inheritance of my own son. So it is true. But let me tell you the truth. The truth you, you, you refuse to know. Wake up. Wake up from your widest dream because that your dream can never come to pass. You can never succeed. It can never happen. Yes! Wake up! Wake up, chickens, eh? and get out of my palace. Eh? I said you should get out! Ah, chickens, eh? it's chickens, eh? One of the worst uh, uh, castle come in as you get out of the palace. I said you should get out. Get out! Get out before I call you. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! It's okay. We shall see. Nonsense. Can you move? Can you move? Get out! Can you move? Can you move? Get out! It's okay. No problem. Evil man! It's okay. Evil man! man. Nonsense. What does he come in? It's just because the Igwe to be. Who made the Igwe? No. Who will give you the Igwe? Who will give you the doubt? You don't know. Who will do you that? Don't know. You are dreaming. You don't know. I said you are dreaming. I got Igwe. You are a Igwe. I got Igwe. Get out! I will destroy you. Akukone, but look at you. Only Kukune will not destroy no matter. Look at you, useless man, animal. Come and take over. No, come and take over the throne. Nonsense. Hi. Look at this, this useless man. Just look at you. Look at this useless man. You had the cost to come and tell you. Get out! You can't come back. Look at the son of your. Can't maintain. Can't maintain the throne. Can you cannot maintain, and you want to contest for throne? Useless man, useless generation, idiot, useless animal. Hey, Agua Wuru, Agua Wuru, check and see Agua Wuru. You could not maintain your car, your body you could not maintain, and you want to contest for truth. Look at you, useless man. Useless man. Nonsense. Hey, Chikezi Agua Wuru. Agua Wuru, come and take over. Oh, baby. Hey. Please come and sit. No, 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 no. I'm already late for lectures. Oh yes, that's true. It's your lecture time. Yeah. Do you need anything? Yes, babe. The money I asked you yesterday. Oh, that's true. How much do you need? About 6,000 naira. 6,000? Yeah. So use it and do anything you want. And in case you need more, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? You can ask for six thousand naira. Give me ten thousand naira. Mm, use it now. Uh, thank you so much. Mm. What will I do without you, babe? It's okay. Stop it. I'm doing this because I love you. So I have afternoon lectures. I'll see you later at school. And I'll branch by the market to buy the stuff to make you a sweet jello fries. Oh. I know you like it. You know you love jello fries. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Um, Thank you so much. It's okay, my lady. Yeah. Let me rush. Please hold me so you don't be late. It's okay. Nigga. 
What is happening? I don't understand you anymore. How come you are always demanding for money these days? Is it not just last week that we sent you enough money that will almost take you half of the semester? Now you are here demanding for What is going on? Oh, oh, Papa. Papa, don't you know that university takes a lot of money? You will buy handouts. You will sort lecturers. I will even buy food stuff. And you know that food stuff is very costly in school. By the time I buy all these things, the money has finished now, Papa. Oh nah, she's right, so. Things are very costly these days, eh? At least you know how much we spend in buying things in this house. Oh. Remember, oh. you promised her that anything that will make us proud in our education that you will do it. Lawyer! Her. Lawyer! I know you will support her because you are not the one bringing her the money. When are you going back to school? Papa, I have to go tomorrow because I have a quiz by 10 in the morning. I have to be there by tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'm going out. When I get back, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. When you come back, I'm going to prepare your favorite meal. Yes, sir. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go and prepare the food before he comes back. Biko, could you doubt Eh? Can't you see that your father is trying? Let's go. This is Nega, my friend. I met her in school. Nega. Lunya Neva. Now Muke Koma. She's my mother. I call her Nemo. She's the queen mother of this land. Of this kingdom. Okay. Nega, you're welcome. Thank you so much, my queen. Um... Prince Gozi has told me so much about you, and I'm so happy to meet you. So, Mama, guess what? What is that? Hmm. Mama, I went to school, and God just came to me and said, My son, I am going to send a helper to you. I say, God, here I am. I'm waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Just then, Neka landed. Wow. Neka is just God sent. She has been the one helping me out in everything. Money, everything, name it. Mama, all the money I've been using in school to buy things, school fees, handouts, everything, She's been the one giving me. That's why I don't disturb you people about money anymore. She has been helping me. My daughter, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. May the gods of our land, the gods of our Loma kingdom, bless you. See? See? You will never lack in life. Amen. Amen. In anything you lay your hand, we prosper. Go, go. Go, go. Thank you so much, my queen. Thank you. You're welcome. When are you people going back to school? Uh, today, we're, going, we're leaving today. Okay. Mm. Why don't you tell the cook to prepare something delicious for you? For you both. My young lady, you want to Let's go inside. And you brag it that I am gozier, leaky finger. I'm the one to prepare it. Let's go. Yeah. Really? You okay. bite your fingers today. Yeah. You I'll be that. The one I'm going to cook for you, you lick and lick you. Be... <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go inside. Thank you, my let me go and finish this. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Chip, please. This one, you are my house with this one. I hope all is well. I have come to warn you to stay away from the throne of Aloma Kingdom. The Igwe ship is not in your lineage and it's unshiftable. I've warned you. But, uh, Chief, please. Get... Speak no more before the gods of the land strike you to death. Now listen to me. The Igwe ship of Aloma Kingdom is unshiftable and it's not in your lineage. Stay away. 
Yeah, uh, Chief Priest. Yeah, don't worry, I will give you one good. Okay, cow. Excusing face now, eh? What are you doing this? What is it? Why did you introduce me to your mother as your friend? Why didn't you tell her that I'm your fiance and that we are planning to get married? Oh you? my love, come on, not now, now. I shouldn't have done that, you know. Eh? If I had told my mother that you're my fiance, she would start thinking that I went to school to start going after women instead of facing my studies. Okay? You know, you know, mothers. And their mentality. You know? Yes. My love, see, see. All that we've discussed is still intact. Okay? I promise you from my heart, it will not change. Okay? I trust you. Are you sure? Yeah. And you were squeezing your face. Yes, now. I do mean like this. But you know I can't do that. Try, try. Get it again. Get it like this. <laughs> <laughs> More like it. Yes, Tom. I'll be my love, my love, my love. I promise to be with you forever. Always be by your side. This is my promise to you. Baby. I promise to be with you forever. Always be by your side. What I want you to talk about is for our own good. Can't you do it till tomorrow morning? I can't wait. Just get on, please. Um. Please now. Oh. I'm sorry. Just get on. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? I'm listening. You be sit up now. Sit down. Stand up, stand up. Okay. Talk to me. <clears throat> what I want us to talk about mm. is for our future. You know, there was a time ago when you told me that your family doesn't have enough money to train you in the university. Yeah. And I've gone to your family to see things for myself. That was why I decided to help you. And on my end, my parents are beginning to complain. They said the way I demand for money these days is no longer for me. So what I'm suggesting is that I want to drop out of school so you can continue. Then the money my parents give to me, I will use it to take care of your school. Then by the time you graduated and get a good job, I can continue. Because if we are crowned the king and lord of Aluma Kingdom, then there will be no need for me to continue. Because as the queen of your kingdom, I will have a lot of job to do. 
And I also want you to vacate this place and move into my own place so that we can be paying rent for just one room. Hmm. Mm. What these things you've just said now, how do we achieve it? How? How do we achieve them? And babe, if your parents hear that you dropped out from school because of a man, and you're using the money they're giving to you to sp mm -hmm. babe, listen to me. If they notice that you're using the money they're giving to you to sponsor the same man, it's going to be funny. And, and to be a university dropout is, is not good. I know. But I'm doing all this to make you happy. Okay? And for my parents, don't worry. I'll handle them. They will never know. It's okay. Leave me look. I don't want to hear any other thing. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear anything again. But babe. Mm -mm. See. It's enough. I don't hear anything. Okay? How do we do this thing now? You know, I have a lot of luggages downstairs. Don't and worry. this room cannot contain all of them. Mm -mm, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I will talk to the landlord, or we could also keep the things downstairs under the staircase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you still talk to the landlord, right? I will still talk to the landlord. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me arrange those things. Okay, then. I will join you soon. Let me just get something. So that's the money for your school fees and the that you also wanted to get. I hope it will be enough. Hmm? Thank you so much. For nothing. I already told you to stop thanking me. I can do anything for you. Hmm? It's okay. At least I am now a housewife in the making while being a good student. <laughs> no, come on, babe. Why are you talking like that? Don't, don't, don't just stop like that, please. You're not a good student. Okay? Don't worry. Very soon everything will be fine. And you'll be okay. You want to school as we discussed. My love, even if I don't go back to school, as far as we achieve our dreams together, I'm fine. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We don't have to get to the money. Like I mean. Nika. Nika, what's the issue now? What's wrong with you? You've not been at any lectures for the past three weeks. What's the problem? There is no problem. Nothing. <sighs> Nika, how do you mean there is no problem? Eh? You've been absent from lectures for the past three weeks. <laughs> if, if there's any problem, you can tell me. Let me see if I can be of help to you. I, I think I can be of help as your best friend. Gloria. Yes? I don't understand you. I said there is no problem. I am fine. Uh-uh. What is it now? Nika, Nika, you are not fine. You yeah. are not fine. You can't stand here and be telling me that you are fine when you are, you are absent from class. You are not fine now. Mm. Okay. As my doctor. 
so you know whether I'm fine or not. Look, am I a baby? Am I a child that I will not know when I have a problem or not? No, now tell me. Please stop disturbing me. Stop stressing me. If you excuse me, I have something important I'm doing. Oh? Neka! 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 Come back here! Come! Neka, just walk out of me. Come back. You know in Neka, she's very secretive. See, she will not tell us what is going on, but I know there is something going on. Oh, have you not noticed that since she started dating that guy, Gozier, she has, she has been like this. But don't worry, I will dig and find out what is going on. Let's go. Tina, I don't understand you. Eh? It's, it's, it seems you hate this guy. You just hate this guy so much. That guy has been attending lectures every day. He doesn't miss it. That's not enough reason for Nega not to be coming for classes. I never said that at all. But let's keep watching. Like I said, I said I would dig and find out what is going on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nika, I'm trying to help. Babe? Yeah? There is something I want to beg you. Okay, what is it? My love, please on no account should you tell anybody in this school, even my friends, Gloria and Tina, that I am the one sponsoring your education. Why did you say that? Because Gloria confronted me today with so much anger on her face. She was asking me why I wasn't attending lectures. I told her that it's none of her business and that she should leave me alone. I feel like she's trying to get something out of me. So I had to work out on her. No, I don't think so. She did what she's supposed to do as a friend. Yeah. So you don't have to feel bad about that, okay? Mm, but she should mind her business. And then, um, I promise you nobody's going to hear of that. Are you sure? I'm not very sure. That's my baby. I know you're hungry. Hmm? And you can get you something I'm, I'm so hungry. Please do. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> Yeah, Gloria, what is it? Why are you disturbing me? What is your problem? Eh? What is your problem whether I go to school or not? How is it your headache? Can you just leave me alone? Leave me alone now. I will not leave you alone. I won't leave you alone. I have every right to ask you why you've not me at any lectures. I am your friend. I am your friend. Mm. Yes. Like, if you are tired of school, go back to the village. Go back to the village. Not as if you are sick or, or you travel or something. You've, you've, you've been staying away from classes. Like if you're tired, go back to the village. Tell your parents that you're tired of school. I stop wasting your money here. I'm very happy with this thing you just said now. My parents' money. It is not your money. Mm -hmm. It is not your parents' money. So how I spend my parents' money is none of your business. If you're no longer comfortable with the way I live my life, then go away and leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Friendship is not by force. Huh? Mm -hmm. you, say? you heard me. What did you just say? I should leave me alone. Yes, leave me alone. Neka, time will tell. Time will tell. When you will look for me, read my lips. You will look for me. Look for you there. for what? I won't be there. What am I looking for you for what? For what? Eh? What will you add to my life? Well, until then. Until then. Neka, you look for me. Neka, come back here. Come back here or you go back to the village. It's either you go back to the village or you come to school. Because I, I, I don't understand this your, this your useless attitude. Be wasting people's money. It is me and you in this campus. Me and you. Do you really have to talk to her in that manner? Why did you say that? Because she's your friend. She did what she ought to do as a good friend. Okay? When you're doing a bad thing, your good friend should tell you. I don't understand. Are you trying to say that what I'm doing is not right? No, I did not say that. I did not say that what you're doing is not right. But you and I know that what you're doing was wrong. But you're doing it for a good purpose. That anybody you told about it will know that you're doing it for a good reason. Hey, I don't want to tell anyone. I don't want to tell anyone about it. 
whether my parents or my friends. I don't want them to cause any problems. And you know I have a target for doing that. You know. And you know that Gloria has a basket mouth that anything that enters her ears is no longer a secret. Baby, I know, but you know, sometimes you do some things with wisdom. Hmm? I know. I know, baby, but look, I don't need friends around me for now. Because I don't want them to spoil our plans. We have a whole lot to achieve together, remember? I understand. Mm -hmm. I know. Are you sure you understand? You're not angry. Thank you. Are you hungry? <sighs> there you go again. Food. You just finish eating, believe, one hour ago. Eh, one hour ago is it's a long time. Look, and besides, I want you to look very good and healthy for you. Should I get you some? Baby, I was namuni. I'm not a gluten, man. Come on. I'll eat when I'm hungry, okay? Uh. Make her my daughter. Mama. You know I am your mother. Mm -hmm. Anything you don't tell me, I wonder who you will tell. I want you to tell me the whole truth. The last time he came back from school, asking for money. I know how hot you had it with your father, over the way you lavish money these days. I saw what he was complaining, but I had to side you. Two weeks ago, you left for school. I know how much your father and I gave you. You just returned from school, asking for more money. Neka. What is happening? Why are you lavishing money these days? Talk to me. I am your mother. Mama, I'm surprised you're the one saying these things. I'm surprised. Mama, you're a woman. And you know what women pass through. Okay, Mama, let me ask you. Do you want me to start following men for money? Just to solve my problems and to spoil myself. Hey. So I can bring shame to you and Papa. No. Is that what you want? Please, please, please. Don't try that. You dare not try such. Oh. Oh, Mama. Mama, listen eh. I just want to remain the good girl that I am. I want to remain that good girl that you've always known. I want to make you and Papa proud. Mama, see eh, if you come to my university, and you see what these girls do with men for money. Hey! Mama. Yeah. Mama, you will cry. Ekuzupana. You will cry. I'm telling you. Eh? Mama, a lot of men, they come to me. Oh. They approach me. They promise me everything, heaven and earth. They say they will do everything for me. Do you know that one even promised to buy me a car? Yeah. I'm telling you. One even said he would take me to Obodoibo, Dubai. Yes! Where all these girls are going now. They promised me, or even one even said he will renovate this house, my father's house, just so that I will give them my body. But Mama, do you know what I told them? I told them no. Good. Mm -hmm. I said no. I cannot do it. I know, Mama. Because I know that my parents, once I ask my parents for money, they will give it to me. That there is nothing I ask you people, that you people will not give it to me. So why will I go around and start following them for money? Why? That is I said daughter. no. Oh, Mama, I don't know. Do you want me to start following them for money? Hey, Biko, eh? don't even try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to remain the good girl that you have I always been. The good girl. I, want I to focus know on you. my studies. And I trust my daughter. Mm -hmm. I know you will not disappoint us. Exactly, Mama. Biko, please do not succumb to those men. Mm -hmm. Run far, far away from them. Yes, so please, far, my far, daughter. far away, Mama. Go good. forbid will I follow those men. Very good. Uh, one more thing, my daughter. Mm -hmm. I would like to come and pay you a visit in that your school. Yes. Uh, At least to know where you're staying. Mama. Mama, is that necessary? Very necessary, my daughter. What do you want necessary? Mama, I mean, huh? if you say you want to come, what am I to say no? Uh -huh. You can come. It's fine. Hey. It's hey. fine, Mama. So these are the things happening in your school. Mama, if you see what girls do with me. Hey! Tell me, how much would you need so that 
all those men that are pursuing you, you will run far away from them. Yes. that I told her, she gave me some money that I used in buying all these things. And I still have some cash left. What lies did you tell her? Baby, it's not important. The most important thing is that she gave me the money. Hmm? And um, my mother said she'll be coming here this weekend. Mm -mm, don't worry, I have a plan. Um, I was thinking maybe we could look for a place where you could stay for for a few days until my mother comes and goes. Hmm? Because you know if she meets you here, that's a very big problem. I know, but where do I go from here? You know, I don't really have close friends in this school. Hmm. I don't hmm. even know what to do. Something just came to my mind now. Okay. Hmm. I will give you some money. Hmm? Okay. You will look for a cheap hotel to stay. Yes. I'll be bringing food for you there. Babe, no, 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 you, you can't do that, hotel. You want us to go and start wasting money in the hotel? So what do we do? Um, I don't know, I, I, I will figure out on what to do, but it's, it's, it's not right to start wasting money in the hotel. We have a lot to do with money. Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll let you handle it. Hmm? But if you can't handle it, don't hesitate to run it. Okay? It's okay. No more things. So take this. Take it. Maybe put this in your account. Mm -hmm. So that anytime you need money, you can take and use. Oh? While I will use this one to start a small business so that we can be getting small, small money rather than asking my parents for money all the time. So use this one so you don't get stranded. Is that enough? Or should I add me? No, no. It's fine. Okay. This kingdom will be in shambles, in troubles. It's here, Chica's here. My prince. I called this meeting because of you. No. Yes, because of you. I hope all is well. I heard the things you've been doing in this village. I heard that you've been trying to buy all the cabinet members over to support you, to take over the throne of Aloma Kingdom. So you cheer chickens here. Did you ask yourself what would be the outcome or the consequences if you had succeeded? Uh, um, my parents, uh, please, I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Yes, you're sorry. Of course, it will never happen again because you won't have the chance to try again. Do you understand? And from this moment, you cease to be one of my cabinet members. Mwabi mm -hmm. Since to be the member of uh, uh, Igwe's cabinet. You, you are an evil man. See your big nose. You used to sniff where things are happening. So you destroy it. You're terrible. Oh no. Yes. Have I spoken with you people's mind? No. Good. But my prince, you see, I just I... get up and leave this place now before I call the guards on you. Oh no, we are not saying anything. You are not talking. Hey, no wonder. Nana, see. So you have succeeded. You have succeeded or no? These are your plans. It's okay. Since you don't want Chair, to hear my voice, will you leave this place now? You are evil. A one man. You're not going oh, no. to be. God! God! You're not a problem, guys. 
Uh, you are calling us for me. Hey, Makachu, if you are saying of them here, I will use this, 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 this one. Person. I'm praying that person. Major Akuonya is here. Now, here, here, by your. I will remember Charlie Monya is Call the police. Say, I'm trusted. Don't know who. Don't worry. We shall see. Call the police. We shall see. That's why all the things you've been eating have been entering your nose. Entering your nose. All the food, all the drink, entering his nose. Let me shock you. When I was about to marry my wife, he was the one who was discouraging me. Making exceptions of my wife's Awake reading your books. My dear, do you know what the time is? Eh? How can you see? You're supposed to be sleeping by this time of the night. This is after 2 a.m. and you're still awake reading. No, now. Eh? Is this how you suffer yourself? Mama, I have to read. I have quiz. Eh? If I don't read this book now, it will affect me. I have to read, though. You remember what I promised you and Papa? That I must make you people proud. I'm going to come out with a first class. <laughs> My daughter and Bam, eh? That is not enough reason to suffer yourself this way. Eh? For the three days I've been here with you, you hardly sleep. All you do every night is to read your books. Mwa, Uzugo. Ah, Mama. Enough. No, 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 no. Bam, 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 bam. I have to read now. My dear Uzugo. Ah. Tomorrow is another day. You continue. It is not good for your head. You need rest. Oh, Mama, I'm not uh -uh. complaining. How can it be fair, Mama, you're preventing me from reading. No? It's alright. You know I love reading. Dinale, dinale. Relax your leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha. How can it be fair, Ka? You need rest, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you come fine. Oh, no. Neka, where is this girl now? Eh? Neka! Neka! Ah, come now. Mama. You know I have something to do at home. Mama. Huh? Mama, you're just going like that. Mama. I for? wish you eh? would stay more days. Hey, mm -hmm. Neka. Mm -hmm. I just spent three days with you. Is that not enough? Mama, it's not enough. It's not enough. Hmm? You just came now and you're leaving already. Ah, my daughter, it's all right. Don't worry. I'll come and visit you next time, okay? And I'm going to spend more time with you. Mama, yes. are you sure? I am sure. Are you sure? I promise you that. Okay, <laughs> come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. hey, my daughter, one more thing. Be calm, mm. please. I want you to reduce the way you stay at work at night. Eh? It is not good for your health. I know studying is fine. But at least find some time to sleep. Oh, please, my daughter. You know, sleepless night causes headache. And you know what that means? Mm -mm. It leads to stroke. Oh. Hey, because Mama. Nem, stroke has no respecter of age. Oh. Mama. For my sake, always find time to rest. Because Nem. Oh. Especially at night. <laughs> oh, Mama, I've heard. I will rest. It's eh? all right, my but daughter. Mama, don't worry. Okay? Nothing will happen to me. Mm. Oh? Oh you know why I'm doing all this? You know I promised you and Papa that I must make you people proud. I am going to make a first class. And the only way for me to achieve that is by studying my book. My dear. That's why I'm struggling to read. Do you eh? need to tell me? I have seen it all. Oh. Once I get home, I will tell your father what I saw. Hmm. Oh? Yes, And that is why I said, anytime you need money, do not hesitate to tell us, of okay? Of course, Mama. I <laughs> know that. Let's go. <laughs> I got to take off it, okay? Why did you even quit school for this small business? I don't understand and I don't know why you did it. So you want to tell me that this shop will make you to become somebody? Tina, eh? what am I before? Am I a goat or a cow? Am I not somebody? No, answer me now. Am I not a human being? See, Nika, this is not a matter of jokes. This is not a matter of jokes. I mean, I can't even understand how somebody would 
drop out of school and open this nonsense called a shop? <laughs> eh? Or is there something you want to tell? I'm your friend. You can open up. You can tell me because I know there is something inside your heart. You, want you know, to tell Tina, me. you really surprised me. You really surprised me. You are calling this my business nonsense. Eh? This is my business nonsense. Don't worry. You see this business? I will use it to surprise you people. This business that you are calling nonsense. I will yeah, use it to surprise you. Come again, no. Come next time. Neka. Neka, so this is the shop you want to use to surprise me. Mm -hmm. This shop, this nonsense. <laughs> See, Neka, I'm your friend. Me, I know there is something you want to tell me. I confide in me. Trust me. Is there something you want to tell me? I should trust you. Yes. Yes. There is a lot. A lot. A lot. Yes. Talk to me. I'm all ears. Talk to me. Oh, sorry, I can't tell you. Because you're just my friend. Eh? I am not safe telling you my secrets. Because you know how we girls used to behave now. We don't know how to keep our fellow girls' secrets. Anything that enters this ear now, before you know it, another person will hear it. And that's how the whole world will know about it. So I am not safe telling you my secrets. And, Tina, I will appreciate it if you don't bring up this again. Don't bring it up again. I beg you. Just leave me alone. Leave me with my nonsense business. Eh? Just leave me alone. After all, you are not my mother, you are not my father. So I don't know what, what right you have to question me. It's my life. So me that came here all the way from school to come and check how my friend is doing. I'm doing a but that's what, that's what you're telling me now. Sorry, I'll be on my way. Better, boy. I, I hope you are enjoying the food. <laughs> you know what I can do. I can see how big I am. I beg you to tell me. Then I uh, make a call. Uh, she's asking for some money for her project. When did she go? Uh, uh, that was a few hours ago. Before I lose appetite, no, come on. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm sure you can lose appetite with this kind of food. <laughs> oh, what is she talking about? Uh, she said she'll be needing 120,000. Yeah. If we can add extra money for her pocket money, that she will appreciate. 120,000 for only project. Neka. <laughs> I don't understand that girl anymore. Nay, how can you say a thing like that? She deserves any amount she asked for. The last time I went to a hostel, I told you the experience I had there. That girl never slept for three days, all because she was trying to make us proud. She kept reading throughout the night. Nay, I had to even force her for one night, just for three hours sleep. Nay, please, we need to appreciate her. She is really trying. Well, I know she will always win because she has a very good lawyer. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow I will send her some. Send her the money. Is it good night? Yeah. Help. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> How did it go? Mm, it went well. It went okay. well. Baby, have you eaten anything? Yes, I managed to eat that small rice at the port. That small rice? Yeah. Only that. Don't worry. Mm? Let me go to the kitchen now and prepare something sumptuous for you. Oh? It's okay. Should I come and help you? No. You're reading your book. Continue reading. 
I'll be fine. You're welcome. Hey, hey baby, that, that reminds me. My father sent me some money. Okay. To use to write my project. Okay. But I'll give you the money so you can use it for your own project. Oh my god. Oh my god. What can I ever do without you? You'll be what yeah. now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you just made my day. You know what? Don't worry. When I finish school, I get a job. I will make sure I send you back to school to finish up too. So we'll all become graduates. Baby, that would be nice. Oh, but once I become your wife, the queen of Aloma Kingdom. I'll get in there. <laughs> there will be no need for education now. I am okay. Uh, but my only problem is I don't know how I will get a certificate. A certificate to show that I graduated from school. I need something to give my parents to show that I graduated with the first class. That's, that's the promise I made to them. Um. Okay, don't worry about that, okay? Don't stress yourself about that. I'm going to take care of it. How? Wait. You mean you will get me a certificate to show that I graduated from school? You do that? Hey! My baby! <laughs> There's no problem at all now. It's there okay. is no problem. Okay. As long as you gave me that certificate, I'm fine. Okay, just go in and fresh it up. So let okay. me go and make the dinner. Eh? Continue with it. Oh. Yeah. is too lonely. Congratulations, my daughter. Hey, Papa, thank oh, you. this is good news. <laughs> thank you, Papa. Mission I said accomplished. That will make you proud. Oh, hey, I I'm said so that happy. will make you proud. <laughs> hey, by the way, where is Mama? She went out a few hours ago. Eh. And she's not back. Okay, Papa. Let me go and drop my bag. Yeah, it's eh? okay, it's I have a okay. lot of things to tell you. Well, I thought that will make you proud. Yeah. Hey. I'm Papa. so happy. You're welcome. Hey, thank you, Papa. Uh, you are looking good. The school is taking care of you. <laughs> Mama, Papa, are you seeing it? I told you I will make you people proud. I made first class. Hi. You can see it now. See my testimonial. No, you're not. Uh -huh. Papa, see me. That's so, me on my graduation guy. My daughter, Mama. what you are telling us is that you are now a graduate. Oh, eh? You can see now. You can see for yourself. That is the evidence there. Hey! Ah. You even came out with first class. Mama, Mama, I did exactly what I told you I was going to do, which is to make you people proud. You've seen it now. Daughter. Your daughter is now a graduate. I am so Your happy Your daughter is now a graduate, you. Mama. I am so happy for you, my daughter. Thank hey, you, Mama. Hey, at least when our son Johnson returns from abroad, he'll be happy to hear the good news from the sister. Exactly. Hey, hey. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Hey. Uh, Neka. Papa. Uh, go and keep uh, uh, it. Okay. After we talk about it, eh? Okay, Papa. Oh. Hey. hey. Uh -huh. Papa, uh, I'm planning to see if I'll be among the first bag that will go for youth service. Uh -huh. Because you know after graduation, youth service is the next uh, Okay, yes. It's yes. all right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. okay. Uh, go and keep the... 
Okay. Okay, Mama. Hey. Oh, I'm happy. Hey. Nice. It's like you are not happy. So since you said you're posted to Port Harcourt, that means I will go with you. Because I already told my parents that I am posted to Port Harcourt. Yes, now. Because if I stay at home, they'll find out that I didn't, I didn't graduate from the university. Uh-huh. It's all right. It's all right. It's, if that is what you want, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll go with you. Yes. So when are you leaving? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will go and start uh, making preparations. Eh? So I'm gonna start getting ready. So I'll travel with you on Sunday. <laughs> That's my baby. It's excited. So my love, now that you're almost done with youth service, <laughs> what's your plan? What's your next plan? Um, once I'm done with youth service, I'm going to get a job. Mm -hmm. Start working. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Then start making money. That's all. Lots of money. Yeah. <laughs> and you, what do you think we'll be doing? Well, I've thought about the whole thing and I came to a conclusion that I'll look for a small job, even if it's a sales girl in the market. I'm sure with my secondary school certificate, I should be able to get a job. Mm. Yeah, a small job. It's, it's not bad at all. I think I like your idea. Yeah, it's okay. At least the most important thing is we have to finish our good service. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for you to start making money. If it's me, right? I'm going to steal this from you. <laughs> Look at the Dutch wheel. Look at this one. It's on the cover. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? Yeah, it's on the wheel. You're making money. Dutch wheel. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh <laughs> Again, eh? hey. Yes, so. <laughs> eh? What is happening? Hey. Mama, I see. I am done. I am finally done with youth service. Hey, now, Mama. You mean you are done with your youth service? Mama, I am done. Hey. Finally. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. Mama, thank yeah, man, you. I'm so happy for thank you, my you, daughter. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Hey! 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 And she's done with her youth service. Yes, Papa. Uh, <laughs> Papa Sean, sir. Okay, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that's what they used to teach us there. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. So you are that's done with youth service, service now? Papa, I am done. That's good, my daughter. Thank you, Congratulations. Papa. Thank you, Papa. Come, 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 come. Hey, you're welcome. Hi. Thank you, Papa. Ah, that's good. Yes, and Let's I... go for a celebration. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, Mama, see, I hope you made something very nice. Oh. Because I am so hungry. Mama, you've been suffering in that place, so mm. you've been suffering. I so. know, you don't need to tell me. I saw it all. <laughs> Just go and relax. I will get you special. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Jello, don't worry, no! <laughs> don't put that yourself. Mama, you are you sure? Hey! 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 Oh, my God! My son, Mama. I am really so happy and proud of you. Yes, sir. Eh? I didn't know you was going to achieve this. Finally, just look at you. <laughs> eh? You are now a graduate and have done your youth service. <laughs> My goodness. Mama, I know what I want. I told you. You know, I always wanted to go to school. I always wanted to go to university and become what I want to become. And I give God all the glory that today is all in the past. 
Honestly, I thank God for His mercy. Yes, so. God is God is really faithful. <laughs> eh? So, what is your next plan now? I mean, now that you have achieved your education. Oh, they go no. <laughs> My friend. Oh no. So it's true. You are truly back. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I am eh? You're back through yes. Hey! Oh, no, we are yeah, welcome. Thank you. You see, Prince Gozier now is a graduate and his youth service dusted. Hi, yes. Hi. I'm happy to hear this. And now that you said um, your personal uh, uh, plans are over, what next? You know, you would always call it your personal plans. Um, what I... is the next step that you are taking? To replace your father, our late king. Okay, okay. I was actually discussing that with my mother before you walked in. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know, now that I'm through with university, I'm done with education, I'm now a full graduate. Uh -huh. I know women are, we find a woman and really an as as well. And then the bush is one. It won't say a Jillian will. Oh, now, Molo. So, now that I'm done with everything, I am going to get a job and start making money for myself so that I can be able to take up my responsibilities. I'm going to start working for what I'm going to And I'm going to start working for what I'm Yes, the proverb, I understand, but uh, the contest you are coming it's what I don't oh no, understand. oh no, just leave it that way, okay? I am comfortable with this. <laughs> oh yeah. no, oh no, you are a very good man, very very good man. Like my son said, don't worry. When he's ready to mount the train, he will let you know. Yeah. Huh? Yes, it's on a safe, a safe hand. Look, can you put my? Come on, man. Your celebration is indeed due. Let me start with this. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. My son kills me. I remember vividly that you were here some years back to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage with your kinsman. And uh, she told you that and that uh, she will not get married until she finish her university education. And you are here now again for the same purpose. Yes, All yes. this while you have been waiting for her. Does it mean you did not find any other person to get married to or what? Uh, nah, it's not like I did not find any other girl. It's just that I did not even bother to approach any other girl. Ever since she told me that she will finish school first before she gets married. So I told myself I'm going to wait for her. Nine, I love your daughter Neka so much from the depth of my heart. Uh, my friend, I'm talking to you as a son and also as a man. You took a very big risk. Waiting all this wife, a woman that you are not sure she's going to marry you. Supposing she refused to marry, what happens? But I'm not blaming you, it's your choice. Uh, I'll still call my daughter, let's hear from her. Okay, nine, thank you. I'll be fine. It's thank all you. right. Uh, Nkem? Nine. Uh, come with the neck. Okay, nine. Nine, you will not understand the way I feel about your daughter. I understand the love. Mama Donald. <laughs> we were all young. We are all in one school young. We know how it is. I understand. Uh, let's hear from her. Enata <laughs> Poj? Uh, ah, no, nine. I don't <laughs> Mm. 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 With his kinsmen to ask for your hand in marriage. And then you told him that uh, you cannot get married until you finish school. So he is here for the same purpose. Maybe he got the information that you have finished school. So what do you have to say? Papa, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. 
So you mean to tell me that this man hasn't gotten married since that time? Eh? That's because I did not bother to meet any other girl. You have a special place in my heart. I love you so much. <laughs> I, I have been waiting for you all waiting this Waiting for who? Eh? Did I ask you to wait for me? Did I ask you? Papa, are you sure this person is a human being? Ah. Eh? Ah. Are you sure he's even a good person that no ah. girl wants to marry him? Ah, I'm, hey. I'm, I'm a good person. I'm a human being. I'm a good person. See, eh, it's because I've not approached any girl. See, ever since you gave me that promise that... Point you... of correction! Oga, I never promised you anything. Oh, yeah. I never... Papa, I never made promise to him, oh. Ah. I did not. I only said what I said because that is how I have planned my life. I never said it must be you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And for your information, I have someone in my life. Hey. A real man that wants to marry me. So, my dear, I am not available. No, Nika, I'm please. unavailable. Ah, um, Papa. My daughter, I've heard you. I better take my leave. Uh, it's alright. Nine, nine, please. Let me beg her to accept me. Okay. Nine. Nebiko, please talk to her for me. Hi. Nine. I know. I love her I, so much. I calm down. I your love. I know how it is. Uh, just like what I was saying here. See what I was. It's a very big risk you took. But all the same, I called you this night in the presence of your mother to talk to you about the man that came to this house this afternoon to ask for a hand in marriage. Papa, which man? Wait, wait, wait. Is it that yellow purple boy? <laughs> that one that almost looks like an abino. <laughs> Neck one. <laughs> Please don't make me laugh. <laughs> Papa, what about him? Hey, that how you describe <laughs> Well, in uh, my presence, you told him that you have somebody that wants to marry you. Exactly. And you have not told me anything about that. Or have you told your mother? No, Nai. I don't know anything about the man. She has not told me anything about him. Hmm. Like, who is the man that he said that wants to marry you? Papa, um, Mama, I will tell you people, but when the time comes, now is not yeah. the time. When would that time be now? We need to know where he comes from so that your father can make inquiries about his family. Exactly. To avoid you making a mistake. Of course. Mistake. Eh. I'm not making a mistake. Oh, yeah, nice. I'm not yes. making a mistake. I know this is my fiance and I know his family very well. They are good people. Hmm? So there is no need for Papa asking any questions. Yeah. Because they are good families. Uh, Mama. So. Who says so? Said by who? If... What do you know about marriage? Hey. Eh? What do you know about marriage and family uh, taproot? Okay. If they are good families. Why are you finding it difficult to tell us who he is? Uh -huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. Mama, I say when the time comes, I will tell you and Papa. Hey, don't bother yourself about it. Just relax and wait for me. When the time comes, you people will meet him. See, why we are saying this thing? When you talk about marriage, if you are getting married to any family, you inherit all the strength and the weakness of that family. Exactly. So that is why and Abafa yeah. know certain things of yeah. Ashe. So that's so what we are talking about. Papa, I know. I know. But you should also trust your daughter. Will I go and bring any how man to this family? Yeah. Eh? Of course, I am your daughter. So you should trust me that I will give you a good son-in-law. Eh? Yeah. So Papa, don't oh. worry. Just relax. Yeah, okay. Mama, yeah. relax okay. too. Oh. Don't bother. Yeah, I am so relaxing, so. but mm. not for too long. Go. Uh, you will meet him soon. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. Papa. Well, if anything goes wrong, don't blame us. So. Papa, nothing will go wrong. All nothing right. will go wrong, Papa. All right. Uh -huh. mm. so, Papa, can I go and sleep? I'm, I'm sleeping. Uh, yes, sleep. yes, you can go, my dear. Good night. Oh, good night, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I hope. Turns out to be a good news. I don't know what. Cheers. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say
Yes, Gozier. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I submitted my CV to your company. Somebody said I should call you and I and I did. Hey, Sabota was available now. How could you just give the work to your gas brother? So I know how much I've come to your company to. Hey. No guys, no, it's not good now. <sighs> okay, it's okay, no problem. It's okay, no problem. Oh. Yeah, you said I should call you. I've been calling you. I've been calling your company. Now, all of a sudden, you just carried the job and, and gave it to your, 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 your gas brother. Yeah? Uh, my love. Yeah? How far with those companies where you submitted your application letter? Has any of them called you yet? Because my parents are really worried why I haven't gotten a job. There's no good news yet. I've called many of them and they said no vacant yet. But not to worry, very soon something good will come out. Let it very soon be now. Let it be now. Because I'm tired. I'm... So what about you? You said you wanted sales guest job. Have you gotten one yet? The one I got. They wanted me to be an accountant. You know I can't take the job because I know nothing about accounting. That's the result of being a school dropout. But it's okay. Hmm? I'm fine. As long as I have you, I'm okay. I'll keep searching for a sales girl's job. It's okay. Don't bother yourself, okay? Everything will be fine. I promise you. Very soon. Everything will be fine. I know. Okay? I have to rush back to the palace now and sort out things. The cabinet members will be waiting for me. It's all right. Hmm? It's okay. I'll see you, okay? See you, sir. Let me rush up. Mr. Gozel Udoka, sir, I've gone through your CV. I think you are qualified to work as a marketing manager in my company. So you mean I... Uh, you hired me loud and clear. You are now employed as a marketing manager in my company. Oh, so thank you. Thank you so much, sir. May God bless you. You have to start work on Monday. This Monday? Yes, in fact, on your way out. The admin will show you to your office. Hey, sir, God bless you. Thank you, sir. Come Thank tomorrow you. to collect your appointment. Okay, sir. Sir, I promise you I'll never disappoint you. It's all right. Hey, Thank you. Good. It's all right. Hey, good. Hello? Yes, the admin. Uh, you can see the young man on his way up. Take him to his office. Yeah. So, maybe what's this whole celebration all about? Because the Lord has done it again. <laughs> <laughs> what did God do? Tell me. Hey. Oh. Mama, hey. Mama, hey. 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 Eh? You've gotten a job? Yes. Baby? Yes, eh? the, the company. Wait, wait. Are you saying you now have a job? Yes. Are you not having a job? Yes. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Baby, this is good news. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank As you. As a marketing Jesus. manager. As a marketing manager. So, what you're trying to tell me now is that you have a job in a big company as a marketing manager exactly hey god <laughs> you are so good hey he's a wonderful god this is good news yes. finally finally <laughs> so um 
Did they provide any accommodation for you? Um, that one, they've not. They've not given me any accommodation, but I met with my friend, one of my friends inside the city, and uh, he promised to squat me till I get money and get my own apartment. Uh -huh. Yes. Squat. Mm. I'll be squatting with him, yeah. Well, it's a nice idea, but I don't like it. Why? Yes, now. I don't like it. Okay, if I want to come and pay you a visit in your friend's house, it will work somehow. I want to, whenever I want to come and see you, I'll be free. Yes, if I know, but you know, I know that I've not started getting money yet. Uh, you know, so I don't have that money to rent my, my own apartment now. Mm, okay. I still have some money in my account, so I'll give it to you so you can rent an apartment. Babe, no. Even if it's one room. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't have to do this now. You've done enough for me already back then in school. You've done enough. You still want to give me money for an apartment? <laughs> oh my right. god, mm -mm. It's not anyhow. Let me tell you something. Nothing that I do for you is too big. Hey. Because your house is also my house. Okay? So stop complaining. All right? You want to give me money for an apartment? Of course, yes. To rent your own place, which is also my own place too. Oh? Babe, thank you so much. What, what would I have done without you? Nothing. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's all right, my love. So, what, 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 do, what do you want? What do you want to eat? You want pepper soup? Pepper soup, unkobi, everything. Let her um, just bring it out. Madam! <laughs> Madam! Uh, bring two plates of pepper soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like two. <laughs> two, two, two. Yes. Oh, thank you. Mm, two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> You're applying for the position of a sales girl? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, where is your CV and all the credentials? Sir, that's, that's where the problem is. You see, I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate. But when I was going home after my graduation, armed robbers, armed robbers attacked our boss and took my bag. That was where my credential, my document, everything was inside my bag. They took everything and went away. So that was how I lost Wait, everything. I don't get you. You expect a company to employ you without credentials and CV? Who does that? Sir, I know it's not right, but please, I beg you. If there is any way you can help me. See, don't leave me. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Mm -hmm. You don't expect us to employ you without credentials. At least there should be a proof that you went to a university and no, There's something I, I, to back up the course you studied. Yes, sir. I went to school. I graduated. I'm, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a lot of stuff to do upstairs. So when you get it, you can get back to us. My dear, I cannot employ you in our company without these documents. I strongly advise you should go and get them and come back to your business. Besides that, there's nothing I can do. Please, sir, I beg you, you need to help me. I, I already told you what happened to my credentials. But please, I promise, if you give me this job, I will do my best. I will perform very well, sir. I won't disappoint you. Please, sir. Well, madam, like I rightly said, I'm not judging your performance, but without those documents, I cannot do otherwise. So I would advise you, you can't get them and come back for the job. Aside that, this is the best Okay. You can get your credential, that's the criteria for the job. Hello, why is the mood like this? How did you go? 
The same story of providing my credentials, which I don't have. I'm honestly tired and confused. Okay, I don't want you to worry yourself about anything. Just go home. When I come back, we'll think of what to do about it, okay? I know, but I'm tired. I'm, I'm sincerely tired of everything. I'm my tired. love, my love, listen. Just go home and rest. There's nothing to worry about. When I come, we figure it out. Okay? Good. Come on. Do you still have some money with you? Yes, I have money. Okay. Please manage. When I come, I'll see you. Okay? Hurry up and come home. All right. Baby set for work. Yeah. Mm. Let me finish this up. And hey, baby, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you if there is still vacant space in your company. Let's see if I can be employed there. Yeah, I think there's still some. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So what what space is that? Um, we'll still have a uh, space of a cleaner. Yeah. Okay, no problem. I can be doing that. At least it's better than going about the whole city looking for a job. Do you think it's something you can work out for me? That can be possible. Why? Yeah? Why? Because you are my queen and the future queen of my kingdom. So you can be working in the same place where I work as a cleaner. Hmm? It can be possible. Look, honey, let's see. It's not bad. At least it's better than sleeping in the house all day doing nothing. I just want to work. Hmm? My Please. love, I said no. It can be possible. Okay. If you say so. You said you don't want to eat anything now. No, I'm, I'm off to work. When I get to the office, I'm going to take coffee. All right. Okay? So, come, come Have on. Have a great day. Yeah. All right, baby. You came back from the city yesterday mm -hmm. where you said you went to search for a job. Yes, sir. And I asked you how far if you have gotten any job and you said no. I am worried. Most of your friends and your schoolmates that finish school at the same time with you, they are all working. And here you are, roaming from one place to the other, searching for a job without no good results. What is happening? Papa, Mama, let me just tell you people the truth. Papa, it's not that I have not seen a job. In fact, I have seen so many opportunities. But what you are asking me to do is very hard. I can't do it. I can't. There was one I was supposed to start yesterday. When I went to collect my appointment letter, the MD of the company started his own. He started giving the same condition. What is that condition they are giving that is so hard for you to accept? Yes. They want to sleep with me. They what? want to sleep with me before they give me a job. What? Yes. Yes, Mama. I refuse. I told them no. I told them no that my parents didn't bring me up that way. That I was not brought up that way. I refused though. I said they should keep their job. I must sleep with them before they give me a job. Mama, can you imagine? No, no. This is not happening. You mean, my daughter, you mean they said that to you? Mama, will I lie to you and Papa? Hey! Eh? God forbid. Hey! Nani, did you hear that? Uh, eh? Neka, hey. what you are telling us is that all your friends that are working, that they all slept with the employers before they were given a job. Is that what you're saying? Papa, me, I don't know. Me, I cannot answer for anybody. I'm just telling you my own experience. What? Is it possible that they did before they got their job? Yes, now. Because everywhere I've been going is the same condition they've been giving me. 
So who knows? Maybe they actually did before they got their job. No. I, mean, I can't do it. I don't understand you. Are you doubting her? <laughs> Neka. Papa. Don't allow me to begin to see you as a disappointment. Papa. Papa, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> I don't understand, Papa. <laughs> Sweetie. Darling. Now that our daughter is back from the UK, it calls for a bigger celebration. Oh, yeah. In fact, you have to start preparing for a party. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do that. My princess. Yes, Dad. I'm almost saying you haven't come back from the UK with a wonderful result. Your mm -hmm. master degree result. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. Oh, darling, we are proud oh, of you. Oh, we are proud of you. Yes, we are proud of her. <laughs> thank you so much, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Right. Mom, um, thank you. Let's share. Let's share. Cheers. Oh. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers to my return. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers Mom. Wow. That's... My princess. Yes, Dad. Now that you're back from UK, you have to come and take your rightful position at your father's company. Surprise! <laughs> that? You are the new director of the company. No way. <laughs> yes, way. <laughs> In fact, tomorrow I'm going to introduce you to all the staffs as the new director of but the company. Are you company. kidding, right? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Mom, did you, did, you, did you hear that? Of course. Okay, everyone. You are looking at the new managing director of my father's company. So address me properly, please, Mo. Oh, the great MD, I greet mm. you. <laughs> Dad, you haven't said anything yet. Mm? The director. <laughs> Period. <laughs> oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Daddy, thank you so much. Right, my daughter. Thank so you. Dad, thank you so much. I promise I will never disappoint you. I will make you so proud. So welcome, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. Love you, darling. Mm. <laughs> okay, so now let's drink. Oh, of course. I'm so happy for New you. New director, guys, everyone. <laughs> New director. Of course, <laughs> Madam Director. Oh, uh, Madam, so the document you actually need to prepare. All right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Gozi, yeah. please do me a favor. Okay. And um, drop the Madam title. My name is Nina. Please. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You just got this done? Yeah. Like now? Yeah. Oh, wow. <sighs> I don't know what to say. This is actually brilliant. Now I... I believe my father wasn't as underrated when he kept talking about the competence and um, perfection at work. I mean, this is brilliant. Okay. <sighs> just keep doing what you're doing, all right? That's um, okay. I'm proud of you, I must say. Thank you. I promise I will do more than this next time. Oh, wow. Well, I, <clears throat> judging from what I'm saying right here in front of me, I would say that I am super proud of you. Okay? You have no point to prove. You're good at your job. Well done. Thank you so much. Well done. Man. Oh, sorry. The Linda. No, ma'am, please. Sorry about that. I'll be in the <coughs> office now. All right, um, please, I'll be glad if we can get the uh, rest of the document before the close of today's work, if you don't mind. It's okay. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Wow. That's not awesome.
fine. <sighs> um, Dad, I wanted us to have a little chit chat about Gozi, your new stuff. Mm hmm. Daddy, I think right now, Gozi happens to be the best staff in the company. That boy is good. I can't but wonder how you even got him because he's an excellent choice. My daughter, you're correct. That boy is good. In fact, he's wonderful. Honey, wait a minute. This Gozi boy she's talking about, is it not the same boy you always tell me about? Yes, December. Uh, and she's talking about him too? Mm -hmm. Mom, I have never met someone who is this perfect in a long time. Jose is such a professional in all he does. You need to listen to him talk. You need to... I mean, he's so detailed. No mistakes. So perfect. Hmm. He must be a professional. Mom, indeed. Um, Dad? I was kind of thinking we can do something to encourage him. Something like what? I don't know, like just come up with anything. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we, we could think about it. Okay. I was just telling your father that social media is full of rubbish. What do you say? Can something? you imagine? So I... Well, I just wanted to, you know, ask you a few questions because I'm just being curious. Okay. Other than your name, I want to know um, things about you. I mean, your family background, just anything you, you think I should know about you. Okay, my name is Gozia Udoka, mm -hmm. the only son of Lex Igwe Udoka. I'm from Anambra State. I read marketing at the University of Nsuka, Nigeria. And right now I'm working in your father's company. That's all I can tell you for now. Um did you just say you are the only son of the late Igwe? Yes. So that means you're royalty? Anyway, yes, I'm from royal family. So what are you doing here in my father's company, working? You know, sometimes it's good to explore. But the main reason I'm here is because I need to make some money for myself. Actually, my father, my late father, Ibe Udoka, was poor. And his father was poor. So, I'm going to be the next Igwe and I don't really want to be like them. So I had to go to school to acquire more education, get a job, make some money for myself so I can actually sponsor myself during the time of coronation. I mean, I give it to you, you're so humble. No one will ever know. So you're going to be the next king of your kingdom? Well, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's really interesting. All right, so <clears throat> at this point, I'm just going to let you be. Is there anything you want to know about me? Well, this will do for now. At least I know that you're gonna be king. <laughs>
customer. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I want to speak milk. Okay. Half a dozen. Okay. Uh, excuse me, please. Yes, any problem? I'm just um being curious. That's Lady Gowen. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Oh, yeah, because I mean, why is everyone following her and um, practically everybody that saw her pass were bowing down in salutation? Why is that? Oh, she is Princess Solid, our Igwe's daughter. That's so? how that's how people bow when we see her. Because she's royalty. Royalty? Yes. Her father is the number one citizen of this kingdom. And her mother also is in charge of all women. The princess too is also in charge of all ladies. And they are royalty. So anytime she passes, it is our custom and tradition that you must bow. Uh -uh. Like anytime you see that's her, you how bow. We do it. That's the custom and tradition of our land. And then she has to be followed with by people. Exactly. Mm, that's interesting. Now, take this food to the palace. Run them to the palace. Hey, oh, what's happening here? Hey, stop! They insulted our princess, so they deserve to be punished. And so what about it? Is that the reason you... Are you serious? Are they animals? What is going on? What is wrong with you? What the hell are you guys still doing here? I ordered you to take these fools to the palace for proper punishment. And you're here wasting my time. Uh-uh. What is this? Is this how you treat people? Because you're a princess? You think you're better than them? To the palace! So, he's going to be like the number one citizen of his kingdom and his wife. His wife also be like the number one citizen. Yeah. And she's going to have everybody worship her bow at her feet, literally. <laughs> yeah, the queen. Right? <laughs> nice. I mean, that sounds really nice. A queen. Linda, I'm done with the document. Mm, yeah. Okay, um, I'll go through this. Later. Okay, I'll be my office. Um, uh, sorry, excuse me. I was um, I was gonna call you before you actually came in. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we can both have dinner later today. You and I somewhere so we can talk. You and I having dinner today? Yes. Is anything the matter? Oh, no, no, no. Not that it's bad. It's not bad at all. But I think I'll be very busy in the office today. Busy? Yeah, really busy. I mean, like, you're going to be too busy to have dinner with me? Is that what you're saying? Um, there are some customers that are actually waiting um, for me. Let me go ahead. Uh, hold on a sec. Do you, do you have a girlfriend or an already arranged date? 
Sorry, ma'am. Um, let, let me uh, see some customers. They're waiting for me. I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'll get back to you. Okay? Hi, Gozi. Um, where are you? Okay. I am on my way to your house. No, don't worry. I'll tell you when I come. So can you send me directions, please? All right. I'll be waiting. See you in a bit. So this is where you live? Yeah, this is where I live. Okay. You called me, you say it's very urgent. You want to see me? Um, why don't you talk inside? Uh, okay, okay. You, you want to drive inside? Um, is it okay to... No, come on, drive inside. Oh, okay then. You're welcome to my little apartment. Hmm. Oh well. Not so bad, hmm. but I believe you deserve something better than this. Please sit. Forgive my manners. Thank you. Yes. Um, this is where I am. I know by God's grace, uh, I'm going to get a better place. Well, I have seen what I wanted to see, but like I said, you deserve something better than this. It's all right. Please, what do I offer you? Well, if I have to accept your offer, it has to be somewhere out of this place. You know, this place is a little bit local <laughs> for my liking. You understand what I'm talking about? So why don't we just go out, sit somewhere really nice, so we can talk. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's go. Okay, let me put on my shoes and then okay. go. Um, don't worry about the bills. No bills on me. I'm taking you out. It's okay. All right, so. <clears throat> Oh, 
Do you like the food? Yeah, I like it. It's tasty. I'm glad you do. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, this is the kind of food someone in your class is supposed to be eating. You know, that house of yours is a little too poor for my liking. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking you need an upgrade. Well, this must be very costly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Um, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Listen. Let's just say, Supposing you meet someone who's willing to change your life, I mean, upgrade your class. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Um, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yeah, good. It's okay, I'll call it. That's all it. This Don't food is very costly. Why? Let me have it. Don't worry. <clears throat> this is nothing. Okay, so back to <clears throat> my question. Supposing you meet someone who's ready to upgrade your life, change your status, move you from this level to, you know, somewhere up there. What are you willing to do for that person to make her happy. <laughs> Someone who wants to change my life. Mm -hmm. Someone who wants to make me rich. Of course yes. I will, of course I will do everything for that person. Whatever the person asks me to do, I will do it for the person. Everything. Someone who wants to change my life. Come on. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Like, you were willing to do just about anything to make the person happy? Yeah. Mm. Okay, we'll see. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I have a girlfriend, but not just a girlfriend. She's my fiance. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Fiancé. Um, so, um, <clears throat> what does this fiancé of yours do for a living? Okay, um, for okay. now, mm -hmm. she's not really doing anything. We just finished school together and um, she's just, she's still searching for job. Jobless? Oh. She's searching. Yeah. That means she's jobless right now. She's not working anywhere. Oh, wow. How do you cope? <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> it's okay. That's, 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 that's all right. But I mean, like, I would have expected something better than a jobless um, fiancé, but it's, it's okay. So, how and when do I get to meet this fiancé of yours? Okay, um, she'll be coming to see me in the city. I'll introduce you to her when she comes. And when is that? How about you invite her over? Can't you just invite her to come to the city? Uh, okay. To okay. see you? Okay, I'll call her this evening. I'll ask her to come over. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. How is a woman even jobless? It's all right, <clears throat> eat up. <clears throat> Eat your food. <laughs> so, Kozi, from all you just told me, I presume your so-called, what again, fiancé girlfriend, what do you call her? Fiancé? No, she's not a graduate. <laughs> a university dropout. <sighs> Amazing. What? An illiterate? Are you serious? I'm just wondering, how did a 
young, promising, intelligent young man like yourself, how did you end up with a stack illiterate dropout? That's quite disappointing. I mean, I expected something better from you. Linda, can you listen to me? Let me explain to you why she didn't finish school. Nah, she don't need to. I mean, I don't need that story. Save it. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time listening to your whining. She's an illiterate. I know what I know already. I mean, an illiterate is an illiterate. You cannot change it. <laughs> Goodness, what else do I need to know? But a girl who dropped out of the university. Anyways, that's not the reason I called you here. Alrighty. I think um, <clears throat> I have a piece of good news to share with you. If you don't mind. Out of the generosity of my heart, I am thinking of your future and um, thinking of what better way to, you know, arrange your life and make it better. So I said to myself, why don't I talk to my father to promote you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like promote you. So at least you can end better. Package yourself, package your life. I mean, something to, you know, boost your confidence as a man and um, help you become the, what again, the next king of your kingdom because there's going to be a coronation. Like, I mean, judging from what you told me. You mean you want to talk to your father to, 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 to promote me and. and uh... Hello. <laughs> You're not deaf and dumb, are you? You're not. You're smart and intelligent, so I presume you understood everything I said. To you. Of course, yeah, you heard me right. Promote you. And, uh, thank you so much. And may God bless you. I mean, you will never lack in this life. Amen. Thank you so much. No, it's okay. I am a godsend to your life. So, <clears throat> You go back to your office and continue with what you're doing while I talk to my father. All right, hopefully it's going to come out great and positive. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Linda, my daughter. Yes, Dad. I've heard all what you said. But my question is, why do you want me to promote Kose to the position of general manager when you know we already have one? Um, yes, um, Dad, we have one who's currently on leave. Okay, and considering the sensitivity of that position, we can't leave it empty. Someone needs to fill in. Okay, and then, looking at it critically, Gozier happens to, well, I think he's going to do better. He's going to do better as a general manager, so why don't we just give him a chance? You said he's on leave. Yeah. What happens when he comes back? Daddy, why, why don't you just leave that to me to handle? Okay, I'll take your part. I mean, when he comes back. But one more thing. Dad, we'll have to give him a house. I mean, accommodation that befitting one and also an official car. Of course, you wouldn't want your general manager to be seen hopping from one bus to the other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Linda. Yes, Daddy. What you are asking for is too much. Ah, ah. Daddy. Daddy, what's too much about this? Daddy, we are talking about a multi-billionaire company. Come on, this is chicken okay, cake. Okay, 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 okay. Linda, I'll think about it. I'll think yes. about it. Okay. <clears throat> if my daddy is still my daddy, thinking about it simply means, uh, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> daddy, thank you. Thank you so much. Good. Yeah, so now that we have a deal, I'll just, um, I'll be right back. Daddy, thank you.
Oh my God. Oh my God. God, I thank you. I thank you. Me, because you're me, general manager of a company. With a car and a house. All for me. Ah! God, God. Linda, Linda, may God bless you. Whatever you lay your hand must prosper. All these things happen because of you. Ah, oh my God. I think I have to call my girl, Neka. Neka has to come to the city. Yes. This calls for a celebration. Neka need to come and meet me. So we celebrate this together. Hello, babe. Yeah, what's up? Good news, yeah, good news. <laughs> yes, I'm sounding like that because I've been promoted. I've been prom promoted to general manager of the company. The car and the house. Yes. You need to start coming to the city. We need to celebrate this together. <laughs> Yes, baby! God is awesome. Woo! It's okay, it's okay. happening who owns this car my car the car i told you about that my company gave to me your car yes this is your car exactly wait baby are you telling me that everything you told me on the phone is true perfect the exactly. car the promotion and the, the house. house it's true you're right baby <laughs> <laughs> this is your car yes, this is your car yes. enjoy the car hold the car blow the hey. open the door open the, the door and enjoy so the car it's so beautiful yeah, yeah. <laughs> blow the horn Hey, now you come. You're there. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so happy. God has done it for us. He has done it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hey. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. What about the house? Okay, they said they will take me to the house by next week. Eh, yes. Next week. Hey. hey. You know what? I am no longer going back to the village. Okay. Yes, I will relax so I can enjoy my husband's work. Oh, yeah. Yes, now. <laughs> maybe let me go drop my bus so okay. that you will go out. You take me with I'll this car. With this car. With this car. Hey. Car, okay? yes. I'm so happy. Why? You don't like the home man or what? You deserve it, my dear. You deserve it. Come on. Hey, here you go. Mm -hmm. So, baby, I wanted to ask when are we going to move into our new house? Hmm? So that we can relax and start planning for the coronation. Now that you've made money. Um, the truth is that the money. It's not started coming in yet. Mm. Yes. But very soon, they will take me to the house. But they have to go and show me the house by this week. This week? Yeah. Okay. It's just that <laughs> they should hurry up and show you this house, so because I cannot wait to move into a new house. I, know. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you deserve it. You deserve the best. 
because you're a good person. I can do anything, absolutely anything for you. I'm confused though. Why? Why does your boss daughter want to see me? Eh? Why did she invite me? Uh, I, I don't know. I can't really tell. This whole thing started when we were discussing. So she asked me if I have a girlfriend. I said yes. Not just girlfriend. I have a fiance. Mm -hmm. And she asked me what you're doing for a living. I told her that you're still searching for a job. Yes. She said, okay. Can you invite her over? Yeah. I want to see her. I hey. said, okay. So, Babe, hmm? what if she wants to employ me in this company? And no, I don't think that would be possible. Mm. Like, like, because there's nothing you can do in this company. You know what I'm talking about. You and I know that you cannot be able to do any kind of job given to you in this company. I'm sorry sounding that way, but... You know, that's the truth, no? I'm sorry. Oh, she's here. Good day, Ma. Hi, Lena. Oh. Uh, uh, my baby, because he, he has told me so much about you. Yes, Ma, I'm so happy to meet you. And this is supposed to be your... What again? My fiancé. Oh, fiancé. This. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't understand. Why is she looking at me like that? I I, I think she's in a bad mood. She's not always like that, okay? I think she, she's not just in a good mood. Wait, wait, open. Did she ask you to invite me so she can insult me? No, no. But, but don't worry yourself, okay? I'm going to sort it out. Yes, I'll, I'll sort it out, okay? Hmm. Hmm. I love it. Wow. Guess what? <laughs> what? It's better from the inside. So this is my house. <laughs> of course. Okay. Come on in. Oh, Mr. Linda, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I don't even know that I will ever ever in my life be in this position. I just want to say thank you because... It's okay. Come on, it's nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> well, um, I'm very excited that you're happy. Yes, I'm happy. I am very happy, yes. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. Okay. <clears throat> I I would love to ask you some questions, if you oh, don't mind. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, I'm listening. Ask me anything. Anything you want me to do, I will do. Oh. All this 
I have done for you? What will you do for me? This is the question. Go ahead and ask me of anything and I'll do it for you. Anything. You know, I, I once asked you this once upon a time and you gave the exact response. That simply means you are a man of integrity. Yes, I am. And you're very responsible. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Ask me of anything. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll just go straight to the point. Okay. Ever since I returned from the UK, <clears throat> I met you and I fell in love with you. For me, it was love at first sight. Oh yes. I I'm wondering if we could, you know, come together in partnership. By that, I mean, you know, collaborate in marriage as lovers. Yeah. Spend the rest of our lives together. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Uh, Miss Linda? Yes? W what you've just asked, I... I don't think it's going to be possible because I have someone in my life. I have someone already which I told you. So what you ask of me, it's not going to be possible. Someone, a low life, a girl who has nothing to offer. I mean, absolutely nothing. No, she offered me a lot. She offered me education. She offered me everything. <laughs> she did everything for me. Education. She's the reason I'm here today. All that is not enough. We are talking about the future, your future. I am here to offer you everything. I mean, your whole life ahead of you. She is your past. I want to be your today and tomorrow. Miss Linda, come on. She's not my past. She's, she's someone in my life. She's the reason I am here today. This person dropped out of school because of me. She couldn't graduate because of me. She offered me a lot. She sacrificed a lot for me to be here today. She's the reason I'm... Enough. I'm what I am Enough. today. Enough. So, it. in other words, you do not mind losing everything? What? Oh, yes. Yes, you heard me. I mean, you cannot eat your cake and have it. You're welcome. How was work? Hmm? 
fine. Fine. Robin, what is it? You don't look happy. Talk to me, what is wrong? I had a very bad day today. Bad day? <laughs> Baby, what happened? Did anything happen at the office? Let me go inside first and rest my head. Oh, fine. Obim! We got inside. Obim! What's wrong? He doesn't behave like this. Something is definitely wrong. I'll find out. Touched your food. Baby, what is going on? Since you came back from work, you've been in this mood. Eh? What exactly is going on? You know you can talk to me and then we can solve the problem. Or oh, did I do something wrong to you that you don't want to tell me? Nothing is wrong. I'm, I'm fine. Something is wrong. No, you're not fine. You're not fine. Baby, talk to me. What's the matter? You're not even eating your food. What is it? Can you help? Baby, talk to me now. Baby? 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 Obim, why is it that you don't want to tell me what is bothering you? You've been in this mood since you came back from work. Eh? What is it? See, I am no longer finding this funny. Do you want to kill me? Oh, my love, please. Please don't talk like that, please. Then tell me, what is it? What is the problem? <sighs> okay, the fact is that there's this money issue in my office. Okay, and the whole thing is on my head, and I don't know what to do. Money? Yes. Oh, babe. Did you eat your company's money? Ah, come on. You know I cannot do a thing like that. Hmm. The truth is that there's this client I did business with. What millions of Naira. And this particular person has relocated to America. Without paying mm. back the money to the company. The company is really on me to, to get the money back to them. Jesus. I don't know what to do. I don't just know what to do. Hey, Obim. Why would you make such a mistake? Where do we get that kind of money from? Hmm? Hey. I, don't, I don't just know. That's why I'm so worried. I don't even know what to do now. This is really serious. This is really, really serious. God. God, please have mercy on me also. She wants mercy. Hey. Obim. Why don't you lie down and sleep? Hmm? Tomorrow morning we'll think of something. My love, how do you expect me to sleep? I can't even think of sleeping. I can't just sleep. <laughs> Linda, are you okay? So you asked your father to promote Gozier and give him huge benefits just because you want to ask him to marry you when you know he already has a woman in his life. If someone does that to you, would you like it? Mom, mom, come on. That girl in question is, she's just a low life. She doesn't deserve him. How is that your business? Do you know how and when they met? Do you know when they have what they have been through? I mean, it doesn't really matter. What does it matter? For crying out loud, this man in question happens to work in my father's company. So I have every right to decide for him. Yes. 
You have every right to decide for him. I do. So with all your intelligence, education, and the training we gave you, you stoop low to contest a man with a woman. Mom, contest? Are you serious? There isn't any contest here. I mean, what's there to contest? Who's this girl in question? I mean, what's her background? I, mean, I don't even see anyone. There's no competition. Mom, stop making it sound like I'm in a fight over a man with a girl. I mean, there's no girl. I see no one. This is just about me and the man in question. Please. <laughs> Besides, he doesn't even have a choice. He doesn't. He works for my father. Moreover, <laughs> Gozi is very smart. I know he, he stands to lose everything if it goes against my decision and will, so... <laughs> I know he won't do that. He will do the right thing, which is listening to me. What else? Now listen to me, young lady. Leave Gossier and his fiancé alone. Go get your own man. Uh, oh, okay, okay. What of the man you told us about, uh, Johnson? Oh, that. Well... I came into this country and love happened. I'm over it. I'm over it. <clears throat> Linda, my daughter, yes. I don't see your happiness in all this. I am beginning to see reason in what your mother is saying. Daddy, please. Keep quiet. Your father is still talking. Well, I've heard you. Both of you should go to bed. Let me relax and think. Goodness, Mom, you're being too dramatic. I mean, why? You go on and on as though there's a fight here. The reason, he's not married, is he? The wearing, this is not me taking another woman's man. Goodness. He wasn't even her I man in the phone. Oh Get goodness. off my face! Mommy, good night. Good night. Get off my face! Oh, well, this is happening every day. I mean, everywhere. I'm not the first. And I, I'm not going to be the best. Can you imagine? How, how is he even her man? How? how? You're only disgracing yourself. Chief, you better take talk sense into your daughter. Else, she will end up crying. And nobody should call me when that time comes. Sorry. Gozia. Yes, Chief. I called you here to discuss an issue that concerns my daughter. My daughter told me what has been going on between you and her. You see, Linda here is my only daughter. And I support whatever that will make her happy. In fact, her happiness is so important to me. Well, let me go straight to the point. What do you have to say over her request of you getting married to her? Chief, to be frank with you, what your daughter is asking of me cannot be possible. I cannot do it. I have a woman in my life. And we're planning to get married. Sir, this girl suffered a lot for me. Because of me, this girl dropped out of school. She used the money her parents were giving to her to train me. She dropped out of school because of me. Sir, please, I cannot do what your daughter is asking of me to do. I cannot, I cannot go into a relationship with your daughter. I have someone. Please, sir, talk to your daughter for me to change the request. Just tell me any other thing and I'll do it for you. I, I, but this one, I, I cannot. Well, I sympathize with the girl in question. But I cannot ruin my daughter's happiness over a street girl. Chigozi, all depends on you. Accept my daughter's request and have everything. Even to the level of sponsoring your coronation, no matter the cost. And reject her request and lose everything. I mean, your job, your car, your house, everything. Sir, please, 
Try and understand me. Understand what exactly? What is your problem? Why are you making this look so difficult? I mean, this is just you marrying me. I have given you practically everything. I mean, everything in life, in future, everything. What more can you ask for? And then you want to choose that low life? That girl from the goddess, the girl who has nothing to offer you. Um, a riffraff. Um, what is all this? I, am, I, am, I, am I so ugly? Am I incapacitated? Am I handicapped? What is your problem? Why can't you just do this whiny, tiny little favor? I mean, what is this? Are you okay? She suffered for me. She goes there. You have 24 hours to give me your reply. Or lose everything. You know me, your daughter. You can now leave my office. They don't know what are you saying? Yeah? Because, yeah. Very much. A woman was giving you this much. One whiny tiny little mm. thing you cannot even give. You cannot. One whiny tiny little no, request I've ever asked. This is the only thing I've no, asked no, you no, all no, my no, life since no, I knew you. Daddy. 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 Did you see that? You are causing me problems. Why did you do that? God, this Linda's request is hard on me. But come to think of it, how can I just wake up one morning and lose everything after suffering all these years? My work, which I know how I suffer to get. The car, the expensive house. That means I have to start afresh. They even promised to sponsor my coronation. What do I do? back yet. Maybe he has lots of work to do in the office. I'll just make him something really nice because I'm sure he must be hungry when he gets back. I'll make him something delicious. Because he's not back from work yet. He has never come home late. I just hope there's no problem. Maybe there's traffic on the road. In his calls. Even if he's still busy at the office or there's traffic on the road, you should let me know now. You should pick his calls. What? 
Please let nothing happen to him. Let him be safe. Let him be safe. Hey! Switched off! God, what is all this? His phone is switched off. Hey! I hope nothing has happened to him, or I hope nothing has happened to him. Cosy, please leave whatever you're doing. Leave whatever you're doing and come back home. Come back to me, please. Please bring him home safe. Don't let anything happen to him. 11 p.m. It's so late. It's so late. God. God, what is this? What is all this? Would you please come back home? Just come home to me. Come home to me. Just come home to me, please. I'm still switched off. Good day. Good day. You're welcome. Please, what can I do for you? I want to see Gozi, the general manager. So who are you? I'm Neka. Neka. Oh, sorry. He's very busy. Besides, our chairman's daughter is not allowed to allow you to come inside this company again. Why? Why would she give such an instruction? Excuse me. Then we'll move. So, excuse me. Hello? Neka. How are you? Where are you at? Oh, you're at the gate? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm coming, just hold on. Hello? What do you mean you're coming? Hello? Hello? And what are you doing here? You never listen, right? What are you doing here? Now get out of that place. You won't like me if I come out. You won't like me. No, no, stop it! Of that place now, I'm talking to you. What nonsense. What's the meaning of this? You don't have to talk to her that way. You have to do that. So you do not have the guts to summon the courage and tell her it's over. How long are you going to continue like this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What are your intentions and plans? What do you want to do? How long do you want to keep up with this? It's over and it's over. You let her know. You know what? what? Since you do not have the courage and balls to tell her, I'm going to do the dirty work. Please. Linda, yes. do not do that. I shouldn't do that. That poor girl, don't serve it. Please. Oh. She doesn't deserve it. The poor girl doesn't deserve it. She doesn't. But I, the rich girl, I deserve it. Right? Enough of this rubbish between you and that low life. Do you understand? Uh, Linda, what is your problem? What is your problem? I have not actually done any marital right on your head yet. So, I am not your husband yet. You lie. You are my husband. Yes. As long as we live together in the same house, sleep on the same bed, make love together, we are man and wife. The sooner you are just, the better for you. Can you just stop? Can you just stop this madness, please? You know what? Enough of this bullshit. Stop me if you can. Um, okay, please, can you go and call him for me? Tell him that Neka wants to see him. I'm sorry. I cannot. Or do you want to sack him for my work? Um, please, I beg you, eh? Just help me call him now. Tell him that if you tell him that I'm here, he will come and see me. Please, I'm begging you. Do you want to sack him for my work? No, they will not sack him. I will advise you to move now. 
don't put too much. Just tell me. Excuse me. What the you hell is going on here? Didn't you receive the message I sent? Didn't you tell her? I told you, I mean. And what are you, what are you still doing here? No, I don't understand. Why are you stopping me from seeing my fiance? What have I done to you? I could not sleep yesterday because he didn't come home. I thought something bad had happened to him. And now I'm here to see him and you don't want me to see him. Why? Oh, fine. As you can see, he is doing okay. <laughs> That's if you're not blind. He's fine. All right? You do not need to come here looking for him. He's okay. He's fine. You take care of yourself. All right? Hey, hey, hey. Listen and listen very good. The next time she shows up here again and you let her in, I am going to make sure you lose your job. I'm sorry, ma'am. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Listen and listen very good. Okay? This is the last time I'm going to go through this with you. All right? Do not show up here again. Ever. All right? Do not because... I am going to show you the other side of me. As it is now, I'm trying so hard to still maintain beauty. All right? Do not piss me off. Now, you run along. Okay? And just so you know, that so-called fiancé of yours that you are looking for mm, now belongs to someone else. All right? I am taking very good care of him. So you do not need to worry. You take care of yourself. Now, get out. Hello? You're deaf as well? Get out. Gozie! Where the hell is this girl from? Gozier! This is not a marketplace! It is an Gozier, office. it's me, Nick! Yes. Are you yes, mad or something? It's this me, Nick! Come, 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 be going. Gozier! Be going, be going, be going. Why are you making all that to me? Yeah, be going, be going, be going. Welcome back again. After everything I've done for him, after all my sacrifices to him, he went ahead to block my number. <laughs> hmm. God, you're watching. God, you're watching. Okay. <laughs> He'll come back to this house. He'll come back. I don't understand you and the neck anymore. Since neck I went to the city to look for a job, I've not heard from her. I don't know what is going on. What is going on? Oh, wait a minute. 
Is it that the neck have gotten a job and both of you don't want to tell me? Because women have a way of uh, cornering things. Nay, I don't know. I'm also confused here. The last time I heard from Neka was two weeks ago. And she did not tell me if she has gotten a job or not. Eh? If I may ask, where is she staying in the city? And she said she's staying with one of her friends, her schoolmate. I want to talk some sense into Neka now. I warn her that to whom much is given, much is expected. Call her. Okay, man. Nay, she did not pick the call. I hope all is well with her. The phone was ringing. Yes, sir. Try it again. Maybe, maybe, maybe she's not with the phone. Try it again. Nay, she did not pick again. I hope my daughter is okay. She, she must be okay. If she don't want to be okay, she have to be okay. Forget about it for now. We'll, we'll, we'll call her later. I will not take this rubbish. What nonsense is this? We'll call her later again. And who are you and um, what are you doing here? How did you find your way into this place? Kosi. Kosi, what are you doing with this lady? Kosi, I've been calling you. You're not picking your calls. I can't, I can't reach you. You even blocked my number, Kosi. Kosi, what, what's wrong? Kosi, is this, is this really who you are? After everything that I have done, after all that I have suffered, Kosi, what did I ever do to deserve this? Kosi, talk to me. Did I do anything wrong? I mean, did I wrong you in any way? Kosi, talk to me. Say something. Kosi, remember because of you, because of you, I dropped out of school. I used the money my parents were giving to me. I used it to sponsor your education, Kosi. Because you remember the promise we made to each other. We said we were going to stay together for the rest of our lives. Because what happened? Where did I go wrong? What happened to those promises, Kosi? Neka. <laughs> just calm down, okay? Let me explain to you. That won't be necessary. I can handle this. Young lady. 
I do not know your story, all right? I do not know who you are. I do not know how you got into my apartment in the first place, all right? But I'm not going to go back and forth with you. This is my man. We found love and we are planning to spend the rest of our lives together, all right? So I would advise you <laughs> that rather than coming here with your exaggerated sense of entitlement, why don't you think of picking your pieces together to make something out of life? I mean, this is not the first time promises are made and broken. It isn't. There's no big deal here. Nothing is lost. You still have a whole life ahead of you. All right? So please, I do not want to have issues with you whatsoever. But I would not tolerate you coming into this place. Not into my space. Not anywhere close to my man. Not his office. Not anywhere around him. All right? So I'm just going to forgive you this one last time. But I need you to run along, same way you came in. Just get out. Let's see. Let's see. What is she saying? What is she talking about? Tell me, tell me what she's saying is not true. Nika. Oh my god. Nika, I'm Please. sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm oh, so sorry. My love. Oh. Does it mean I, Nika? I, I, excuse me, I think I your baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. At this point, you're pushing me to what I'm gonna kick you off this place. Ah. that it did out there. That wasn't fair. That wasn't right. That poor girl is in pain. She's heartbroken. That girl did a lot for me. That girl trained me, practically trained me in school. That girl dropped out because of me. She didn't graduate. She did a lot for me. You have allowed me to handle it. <laughs> you were clearly not man enough to do that. <laughs> I stepped in, I handled it like a boss, a real woman. That's exactly what I did. I mean, what's the big deal anyways? Why is everyone just going on and on about she did this, she did that? What did she do exactly? Did she give you blood? Did she give you life, oxygen, kidney? Tell me, we can return it. I mean, what's the big deal? Listen, I do not want you to keep going on like a man who's held here against his will, all right? We are grown adults. This is what we want. Okay? And if it's about all the things she sacrificed for you, well, put it together. Calculate it. I am going to pay back. I pay her off. And that's it. Everyone is happy. She wins. I win. As simple as that. Please. And you think it's as easy as you said? Baby, listen, you did nothing wrong, okay? You chose me, all right? I understand someone is hurt, but I mean, that's what life is about. Life isn't fair, all right? It's not the first time someone is making a promise and breaking it. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise, okay? You did the right thing. Babe, come on. We're grown adults. We choose to live together the rest of our lives. Don't let anything change that. Okay?
Nothing, I'm, I'm fine. You, you can't tell me you're fine. You're crying. You don't have a place to stay. Talk to me, I could be of help. Please. What's the issue? I want to start by saying, I apologize for the last time, the way I spoke to you. I'm really sorry. That's not who I am. I'm obviously better than that. But it was completely not my fault. You were very stubborn. I mean, I've lost count of how many times I've asked you to leave Gozi and I alone. Because we're in love. He is meant for me. But of course, as usual, <clears throat> you chose to be stubborn. Now I'm here so we can all sit and find a way around this. Let's just say we're here today to find a way around what is between the three of us. All right? Or let's just say that we're here to pay you off, yes, for all the troubles you've been through over the years. <laughs> and this is because I am a very kind-hearted person. 
and um, I understand the pain of losing, especially when you you feel like you've invested too much in the man. But then again, it's not every time you invest in a man and the man ends up being your husband. I mean, these things are practical. It happens every day, every now and then. So this is not the first time, all right? So um, out of my kindness, I came up with a check of 20 million euro for you. There you go. This is for your troubles over time. All right, so you take the check and please leave Gossie and I alone. I'm begging you, all right? Woman to woman, just leave us alone. We're meant to be together. We're meant for each other, okay? So you should count yourself lucky to have met someone like me. I mean, it's a privilege to have met a girl who would want to make you happy. So <clears throat> you take it and start up your life i hope this brings you happiness and please and please leave us alone leave gozier and i alone please so you um enjoy the rest of your life while we enjoy the rest of our lives together thank you very much um nay nee. Um, she has actually said it all, okay? I don't know what else to say. Please, manage this 20 million naira. It can actually go a long way for you, okay? Start up a business of your own and go back to school with it and finish up and become a graduate like me. Okay, please. Um, from the depth of my heart, I am sorry for everything, but I have no choice, okay? I can actually pay three years' rent for you more, so you cannot bother paying for house rent for like three years, okay? Yeah, so. Okay? So my queen, after everything, Gozier dumped me for his chairman's daughter because they have money. Wait, my daughter, are you telling me that you were the one that sponsored Chigezir, my son, through school? Yes, my queen. And he promised to marry you? Yes. And Lata dumped you? After everything. Yes, my queen. Hi. Hmm. I mean, how can Chigozi allow his weight to drop on the ground? Please. Are you are you sure of all these things you've just told me? My queen. Why will I lie to you about such a thing? Look, Gozir is your son. He's still alive. You can call him to ask him. It's okay. I'll call him and ask him. And if what you've just said is true, if it is true, anyway, let me reserve my comment for now. Please, it's okay for now, bro. Oh? 
wipe your tears. You know, everything will be sorted out. Thank you so much, my friend. My queen, I have to go. I will give back to you. Okay, my queen. Go. Nega. Kidifo. Why are you crying? Eh? I want to talk to you. Yeah. You want to talk to me? What could that be that is making you cry? Is that why you're crying? It's a water. I'm here. Mama. Yes. I have a confession to make. Yeah. Confession what? Is that why you're crying? <laughs> what could that be? What is the confession all about? Yeah, yeah. Did you kill somebody? <laughs> yeah? Remove your hand. What good are you coming from? Yeah. Did you commit abortion? Then what is it now? Why are you crying? Confess. I'm listening. Mama, I. Yes. Mama, I. I am not a graduate, Mama. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by you're not a graduate. Ah, you went to university <laughs> and you came out with first class. So, how come about the results <laughs> and the certificate if you're not a graduate? Well, it's, it's fake. <laughs> Everything is fake. <laughs> Neka. This must be the joke of the day. I don't understand what you're saying. Please don't joke with me with such things. Don't. I'm a panyawa. Uh-uh. I'm not joking. I'm not joking, Mama. I'm not joking. Forged. I'm not so joking. if it's forged, uh, what about the school and the money we'll be sending to you? Yes? <laughs> I used it to sponsor my boyfriend. Eh? I met him at the university. <laughs> I, I sponsored him because he promised he was going to marry me and said he was going to marry me after he graduated from the university. <laughs> after everything, Mama, he, he dumped me for the, the daughter of the owner of the company where he works, Mama. Why? It don't me. Ebuono. Make ebuono mo. It's a game. Please, I'm sorry. Why? Please, I'm sorry. Neka. I don't even know where to start from. I don't know what to do. Mama, I am so confused. I am so confused. Why? Please. Neka, what do you want me to tell your father? Mama, please. Eh? Mama, Papa is your husband, okay? You know how best to talk to him. You will understand. It's a guinea. Please. How will I relate this kind of news to him, Neka? I am sorry. Hey! I am sorry. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness. Mama, hey! Neka has finished I'm to sorry, me. Mama, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Neka has killed me. Mama! Hi, I'm finished. I'm finished now. Hi. Hmm. Just calm down. Calm your nerves down. Uh, let's see how we'll handle this situation before we take a, a drastic decision that we'll regret later. Because now, oh, oh, I'm trying very hard to understand what you're telling me. That my daughter, that I sent to the university, sending her money, abandon her own education, and use the money to sponsor a man. A 
another man's son. And she even had the gods to present to me a forged certificate. Where is the nigga? Where is she? She's in her room. Because she made a mistake of which anybody can make. And she has apologized now. Eh? Uh -uh. It's just a common certificate that she forged. Uh -uh. After all, this is common in this country. Please don't kill my daughter for me. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Do you think it's written for me? I worked for 40 years. Half of the money I earned from my civil service, I spent it on that girl. Do you think it's written for me? I understand, I know. Just take it easy, eh? So that we don't make a mistake, eh? The mistake has been done. Nay, please. Nay. Hello? Hey! What is happening? Hey! Hey! Nayo! Nay! Hey! Nay! Hey! Nay! I think something bad has happened to Neka. Eh? Yeah? Something is wrong, Nai. I can feel it. What happened? I just tried to call her now. The phone rang. She picked. And the next thing she shouted. I tried to call her again. The phone is ringing, but nobody is speaking. Eh? I think there is a problem, Nai. Hey. Nai. Let me try it again. Huh. Nai, you do something now. Eh? Hey, they are not picking. Uh, Nai, are you walking away? Hey! Chimo! Nai! Nai! Hey. Okay. Hey, Neka. Please pick, go. Pick, 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 pick. Hey! Nai, she did not pick, go. Hey! Nai! Hey! Giving her 20 million naira and she rejected it. She knows what 20 million naira can do for her. Eh? And after all, how much did, did she spend on me? Shut up! Can you listen to yourself? Eh? When she was spending those money on you, harboring you in her house, 
You promised her marriage. What was on your mind? What? Because your boss's daughter was showering you with money and you forgot who made you what you are. Where is your conscience, Gozi? Where? I'm asking you. Let me tell you. Your late father did go of this land and your forefathers never committed any abominable thing. Neither did they do anything that will attract cause to this family. So I would want you to follow their footsteps. What is your problem? That innocent girl suffered for you and you dumped her because of someone I do not know. What if she commits suicide because of what you did to her? What will be the face of the innocent name of this royal family? I mean royal and respectable family. Do you want to drag the name of this family to the mud? Eh? But Mama, what, I... But, no, I, I don't want to hear anything from you. Better go and look for that girl wherever she is and make peace with her. That is the only option. Make peace with her. Even if it doesn't resolve both of you getting married, no problem. But let it be something you people resolved peacefully to avoid a dino in the future. That's my advice. Okay, um, nurse. Sir. So after 30 minutes, okay. you give her the injection, okay? All right, sir. Just as I've instructed. Make sure you keep your eyes on her. I will, sir. Thank God she's improving. Yes. Um, bring the fight to my office. Okay. Investing so much time into this. Why? I went to her house, she wasn't there. I caught her phone, it was switched off. Maybe she doesn't want to see you. Why don't you just let it be? You have given this your best shot. Babe, you cannot go on and on trying to prove to the world that you are a good man. Yes, you are a good man. You're kind-hearted. But you're not going to kill yourself, are you? Babe. I understand everything that has happened between you and her and all the sacrifices she's made. You made efforts. All right? You gave her money. 20 million. <laughs> it's not a child's play. For someone who didn't even give you up to 500,000 in a haul. I mean, what's all this? We have a life to plan. Why can't we invest this time into us becoming king and queen? We have a whole coronation ahead of us. Please, you can go on like this. Please, just let us be. I'm begging you. I mean, you're going through a lot. Look at you. Under the AC, you're sweating like this. Why? Because she let something as little as this worry you? You're better than this. Please, we are all that matters. You and I. Baby. Please don't do this to me. I need you to be happy. This is not the end of the world. No one is going to blame you. You did your best. 
all right babe this is not the first time this is going to happen to anyone people make promises and break them all right but what matters is you and i we're both here now because we love each other look at me do you love me do you love me so how are you I'm doing today i'm getting better doctor good you said you wanted to see me yes doctor who brought me here i did Actually, I saw you lying lifeless on the road, so I brought you here for treatment. Lifeless? Yes. So, tell me, what actually happened to you? It's a long story, Doctor. Long story? Okay. The good news here is that you are recovering fast. Thank God for that. Just have to relax, okay? Let me get one or two. I'll still check up on you later. So, how far have you gone with Dono? Did you tell him your plans? Yes, Mama, I told Dono my plans and uh, he was so happy about it. So we sat down and we discussed so much about it. Um, uh, he said that the coronation would take place in six market days. Okay, so I asked him to help me call on uh, the cabinet member so we can sit down and have a meeting together. Now that you have concluded on a date for your coronation as the Igwe of this kingdom, what about Nenka? Have you seen her to sort out things with her? Mama, um, actually, to be frank with you, I have not seen, seen Nenka since then. I've gone to her house. I couldn't find her. I've called her on the phone. Her phone was switched off. I've been searching for Nega. I don't even know where to find her. So, I've tried my best. I don't know what else to do again. Honestly, with what you are telling me now, I am not comfortable with your coronation going on without settling things with her. You have to try. Mama, it's okay. I will... I will try and sort out things with her. I've heard what you said. What, Mama? What a sympathetic story. Well, like I said, you don't have to kill yourself or lose hope. Okay? The only time you lose hope is when you stop breathing. For the meantime, I have to discharge you. You will be coming from home to take your treatment. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have a home. But you told me you rented an apartment for the both of you. So what happened to the apartment? I, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to. It's okay. Stop crying, okay? What if I give you an apartment? Would you love to stay there? Yes, doctor. Anything, I don't mind. Okay, let me see what I can do then. Hello, Inkechi, come to my office right now. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Stop crying. Thank you, doctor. Stop crying, okay? On this one. Sir? Yeah, I sent for you. Um, this young lady here will be staying with you 
at the nurse quarters. Okay, sir. I want you to look after her and make sure she take her proper medication. Did I make myself clear? Yes, doctor. All right, you can go back to your post. I'll send for you when I need you. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. It's okay, okay? Like I said, you don't have to kill yourself. Um, what if I send you to a nursing school? Or better stay, you do a training in this hospital. At least it can help you. Maybe after your school or your training, it can help you get a good job or travel abroad. Doctor, mm -hmm. do you mean what you just said? Yes. What? How much is it going to cost me? Don't worry about that, okay? I will take care of everything. Doctor! Yes, I will take care of everything. <gasps> Doctor, thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you kind. Know thank, you. <laughs> thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank it's you. Okay. God bless you, Doctor. It's, it's okay. I'm blessed already, okay? As a matter of fact, my name is Doctor Blessing. Uh, hold on a minute. Me? Go ahead, take it. I know it's not much, but just get whatever you want with it. Go to the market, you get whatever you want. It will go a long way for you. Don't do this for me. It's nothing. It's nothing. Stop it's crying. It's so much. It's so much. It's nothing. It's nothing. Thank you. You will never lack anything in this life. Amen. I don't know how to thank you for Dr. God will surely bless you for helping me this way. You've done so much for me. God bless you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think I did the lab around with that, so I'll be able to know. Okay, so what are you what are you going to do? Are we, are, we, are we just going to sit and wait for the lab results to be out? Can you do something to make him at least open his eyes and, you know, talk, sit up? Well, for now, I can't tell. I think I should wait for the lab result. Are you sure he's going to be fine? Yes, he'll be fine. What we're giving him, I will sustain him there. Excuse me. Okay. I'll be waiting. Um, yes, Dad. No, 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 nothing has happened. Nothing changed. We're just here. He's still in the same state I brought him in. I don't even know. I don't know what the matter is. I don't know. No, no, no. No one has said anything yet. Um, we we ran a couple of tests and um, they said it's going to take a couple of hours for the test to be out. So I don't even have an idea of what is wrong. No, he's not talking. Okay. Okay, Dad. 
Um, so as soon as the test result is out, I I'll, I'll just call you and um, tell you if I find out anything. Okay, Daddy. All right. Why didn't you eat your food? What is the problem with you? For how long will you continue this? See, you are causing yourself a very big problem. The guy you are thinking of is somewhere enjoying his life with another woman. And you are here crying. See, Neka, if you do not stop this, I will tell the doctor. I will go and tell the doctor. I know what to do. Please don't stop. You tell the doctor. Please. I will tell the doctor. If you don't want, if you don't want me to tell the doctor, then come and eat your food. Eh? I will eat. I will eat. Oh, that food is too much. It's not too much. Taste a little or enough quantity so that I can be able to take your drugs. Eh? I understand. I understand. Okay. I was just coming to your office. Yes, I did, Linda. You know, it's been two weeks since you brought this man to this hospital. Mm. I need your husband to be. Yes. And um, for all medication we have given so far, it's not making any progress. <gasps> and uh, even from the test results, we didn't find anything. So. I'm thinking it's what's happening to him and his spiritual. And I would suggest you take him to his people before something terrible happens to him. Otherwise, you'll be blamed. Um, doctor, are you saying there's nothing medically you can do to help improve his condition? But, but would you give me your words? What changed? You said he was going to be okay. Uh, well, Ida, I know I did. But um, I'm your family doctor. I know. And I can deceive you. For all I've tried so far, I can tell you it's not getting better. You and I know that already. So I will just suggest you take him to his people. Doctor. And if you agree with me, yeah. I would like to discharge him today. Please. Oh? So, just think about that. Let me know. I'll just go to the point. Young lady, you mean you woke up one morning and found our prince in commandments? Yes, sir. Um, immediately it happened. I um, rushed him to the hospital. Upon getting there, he wasn't um, responsive to treatment. We were there for about two weeks. Nothing happened. And um, the doctors suggested that I bring him back home, saying it's more spiritual than medical. Huh? Yeah, they asked us to seek um, spiritual help, so they, they, they discharged us and I had to bring him home. He, he's been like this. Hey! Hey! I am finished. Oh, oh no. Oh no, please, you people have to do something. <laughs> eh? my, my enemies at me. Uh, they want to kill my son. Uh, 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 so calm down. Eh? Lolo, calm down. We must do something. Eh? The, the, the problem is that his coronation is just in three days and all of this are happening to him. Eh? But nevertheless, I know that the uh, Ezedibia must demystify. No need for that. The Ezedibia cannot do anything. Chief Priest, what do you mean by that? Prince I here know what to do to free himself. Chief Priest, what do you mean by this? The gods of the land came to me last night and they told me that Prince Gauzier here made a royal proclamation to someone who suffered for him. 
unless he does the needful. Failing to do that, he will join his ancestors. I mean, oh. what proclamation? What's that about? Because what did you do? Did you do? Did you do something? What are we going to do then? What, what, what's that all about? Chief Priest, what can he do? He, he can barely say a word. Don't worry, he will talk. Five one. Uh, at least coming from someone who did everything for you, who helped you all the way, eh? I, I condemn it totally. Even the gods of the land condemns it. Eh? But nevertheless, um, of course, uh, can you tell us how to find her? I know the village, but I've not been there. Uh, neither the parents. I've not seen them. What about the family's name? Well, yes, I know, I know the... You know, very well, babe. We will find her. When we get there, we will know her whereabouts. Even if she's not there, the parents must tell us how to get about, you know, finding her. Eh? It's not a problem. Yes, it's not a problem. Uh, oh, Lolo. So, so, so what about me? I mean, why is no one talking about me? What about me? What happens to me? Will you shut up? You are the cause of this. You think money is everything? What you did with him in the past should remain in the past. I don't bring that into the present and cause more havoc. What? Excuse me, what do you mean by what? Please. Because hmm? you heard him, right? Yes. What have you got to say? Imagine this. He is my uncle. And so what about it? What have you got to say? I mean, what are you saying? You heard all the things he said. Will you shut up? Hey. That's just the way he sounds. Oh, oh so you mean you, you, you suddenly do not even have the guts to open you? you to open your mouth and speak in, in my defense. No, sometimes he sounds like a this. Oh, you think money is everything? Fine. I mean, that's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. I understand. I do. It's fine. I'm going to say that. 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 She wants to come and rip you. Lee. Lee, what? Lee, what? Shut up. Hey! Oh, no. He's under her. Can you see that? Hey. I'm telling you. He no. has to finish no. the, our brother, our prince, our king. Can't, can't you see? see he see, is see, under see. her chauvinism. Ha! You're crying. When you and your father started this selfish journey, I warned you, didn't I? I told you you were going to regret this, but you wouldn't listen. Now, after disgracing yourself and bringing shame to the family, you sit here to cry? You have not started crying. But Chief, you contributed to this. When I begged you to talk senses into your daughter, you refused, saying you want her happiness. Now she's in bitterness. And I hope both of you can rest now. <laughs> Why don't you unblock Johnson and call him? I'll be glad to take a call. My princess, <laughs> stop crying. Stop crying. Don't mind your Stop I will handle the situation. Stop crying. That's not what I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Johnson, please pick up, pick up. Please pick up. Hello? Um, Johnson, yes, I I heard you in the country. Yep. Yeah, please, can I, can I, can I see you? I'll tell you when I see you, please. Please. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. 
Nay, let me ask you, what kind of a man are you? Eh? What kind of a father are you, Nay? What, what is wrong with you? Is something wrong with your head? Hmm. What kind of talk is that? There is something wrong with my head, and my head will never be okay if you don't do something about our daughter's disappearance. Eh, Nay? The other time I told you what inspired when I called her on the phone. You are not even showed any concern. You are here drinking hot drink. Eh, Nay? You have not even made a move to go and look for our daughter. Or better still, go and report her to the police station. Let me ask you. If I go to the police, what will I tell them? You tell them that our daughter is missing. Did they make her tell you that she's missing? Ah. Nay. Can you hear yourself talk? At times I feel you talk rubbish from this your mouth. Eh? Instead of it to go out there and look for our daughter, you are here asking me stupid questions. Wait. Are you by any means insulting me? Oh. Nay, you've not heard insult. Oh. You will continue to hear this insult until you go out there and go and look for my daughter. Uh, greetings, everybody. Uh, greetings, Dalopano. Uh, please, I, I don't know if we are on the right uh, track. We are looking for Iche Ibeko's compound. I'm Iche Ibeko. What can I do for you? Uh -uh. All right. Um, my name is Festus Onyekure. I am the Onowu of Aloma Kingdom. And here is the Crown Prince, Prince Guzir, the Prince of Aloma Kingdom. We are simply here because of your daughter, Nega. Yes. Did you say Prince Guzir? No, he is. You mean Prince Guzir of Aloma Kingdom? I'm standing yes. before you. Uh -uh. Were you not the one that our daughter has been spending the money with sending her to school to sponsor your own education? You also promised her marriage, but you turned her down. Yes, I'm the one, and that's why I'm here. Yes, uh, you know, uh, hey, yes, Nine, he's the one. I, where, where is my daughter? I am, I, I, I am no, the, no. That's why I'm here. Nine, I am not going to leave him. I, I, Provide my daughter for me. Madam, calm down your nerves. Let him be. The reason we are here is to sort things out. We are here because of your daughter, Neka. Let him be. Let go of his shirt. There is nothing to calm down except I see my daughter. Oh, oh no! Oh, yes. This is so called prince. Have the ghost and useless my daughter. Now, what are you doing here? It's uh, 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 You know, after we ascertained of what transpired between our prince, Prince Gose, and your daughter, um, we condemned it. Even the gods of our land did so. And then what did we do? We had to rally around him to ascertain your daughter's whereabouts. So she could take her place as a future queen of our Loma kingdom. That's why we are here. We want her to come with us. The truth of the matter is that for some months now my daughter left this house. Out of shame and humiliation, this your so-called prince put her through. Nay, tell them. And we don't know her whereabouts. Whether she's alive or dead, we don't know. It's a big way. You, you, you shouldn't speak about your daughter to be dead. I, I personally do not believe that she's dead. Please, do not relate this issue towards uh, death. I beg of you. Oh no. Yes. Let me believe you that my daughter is fine. Thank you. But for the respect I have for you and royalty. Thank you. That is why I will let this young man leave my compound. Oh, this is my compound. I can do and undo here. Now I'm giving Prince Gozi seven days. Seven days to bring my daughter back to this house. And if I don't see my daughter in seven days, your kingdom and him will all be in court. Nay, um, are you allowing him to live here without providing my daughter for me? Let him eh? go. Ha. Nay. Let him go. He mentioned the gods of the land. Uh, thank you. Let him let them go. 
night. Seven days. Let them go. No, night. Leave my Please don't leave me here without producing let, my daughter for me. No. I, eh? I let, let them go. Seven days. No, I I'm not comfortable. You, you heard what the man said. Yeah. I smell fish. What do you intend to do? Oh, uh, let me get back to the city. That's the only place I can find her. To the city? Yes. How do you intend to find her in the city? The city is so large. It, it will take weeks to do. And you remember the man just said seven days. That's yes. a week. Anyway, I don't know, but let me get to the city first. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I wish you were. May the spirit of our late king, your father, be with you. So let's go. Let's go. Chief, so you have the guts to take my daughter to your village, to be humiliated and insulted by your daughter. That's all. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> well, I forgive you. Because I heard you were sick when all these things were happening. But now, what do you have for my daughter? Sir, please, I'm sorry. I cannot accept that. If I do, if I accept to marry her, I will die and the whole of my kingdom will be in trouble. I see. Please. I see. Linda. Stop. You had your sweetheart. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. What do you have to say? It's okay. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Sweetheart, thank you so much. Yeah. You cannot eat your cake and have it. So, he loses everything, Dad. What? Yeah. You had my daughter. Henceforth, you cease to be a staff of my company. Forget your office and leave your house. Linda. Yes, Dad. Collect the company's car key from him and take some security men to his house to monitor him for him to take his personal belongings. Yes, Dad. You had me? Yes, Dad. Really, really, you look at him go to him. If you leave me, he told them I will fire you. He told them I will fire you. Come, let's go. I said leave my office. Are you coming or not? Let's go. Where is the khaki meanwhile? Let me have it. Let's go. 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 He told me I'm fire you. If you leave me again. Um, Nine. Today is making it the sixth day. Those people left this compound. After giving them seven days to go and look for our daughter. Up till now, we've not heard from them. Why not send for your kinsmen? So that you can tell them what happened. So they will go and meet them. Eh? Why are you women always in a hurry? I gave them seven days. Today is the sixth day. It's after tomorrow, after the seventh day. Then I will know the action to take. Relax. No. No, I don't understand. How can you be saying this about your only daughter? Eh? I can relax, so. Woman, please. Allow me to think. Wait until tomorrow. When the seven days come and go, then I will know what to do. Don't force me. Relax. I don't know why you should be saying such a thing eh, about your daughter. Eh? You need to do something. Oh. Hey. Who, who, who is this? Oh? Who is this? Onyakwa. N9. Mama. Ah! 
Hey! 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 You never told us that you were coming now. I just wanted to surprise you guys. <laughs> nah, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> that was a very pleasant <laughs> one. <laughs> Johnson, um, um, Papa, you're looking good. Though. Thank hey, you very much. Look at Papa. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the small, the so, dollar you are sending to me. Now, what am I? <laughs> Why am I walking here to send you dollars? And he's not giving me the shell. Mama, can you say that? They're showing all over you now. <laughs> anyway, where, where is it, Neka, my sister? Uh, 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 just my son. You are just arriving. Eh? Neka uh, is fine. Don't bother yourself. Uh, she's oh, she's fine. Yeah, yeah she's okay. She's all right, then, Mama, someone should help me get something from the booth. I brought some things. Ah, huh? Boot or Jure, you don't know? Hey, hey you, Papa. Nah, yeah. Mama, no, come, 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 Papa, Mama, so, my son. The both of you want to tell me that since Ineka left this house, she has not returned. My son, we have not seen her. By the so-called prince and I know that came to this place, I gave them seven days. And that seven days will expire tomorrow. Up till now, I have not heard from them and I have not seen your sister. My son, and your father is not doing anything serious about this issue. I told him the last time when those people were here. I was holding that boy down, not to leave until he provides my daughter. Yes, but your father here allowed them to go after giving them seven days. Up to now, I have not seen my daughter. Okay, forget. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That, that holding them, you would have fought them or what? What, what, were, what would they achieve? Uh, anyway, Papa, I will be going to Patako the day after tomorrow to supervise the new company I just bought. Really? Yes. Once I'm back from my travel, I would go and look for a necker myself. All right? I need the both of you to calm down. Uh, it's okay, my son. But tomorrow is the last day. Eh? What if they don't provide my daughter for me? Mama, eh? calm down. I said as soon as I'm back from Potakot, I'll go and look for a necker myself. Uh, it's okay. Please. Uh, it's my okay. son, Just if relax. you say so, there's no problem. Yes, I will handle it. Just take yes, it easy. Well, no, my hair, my America. Yeah, my children. The corrupt marker. I am not happy here. Make will be fine. Oh, the Johnson. Huh? I thought you. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! This is you. How are you? But I'm not fine. I'm really so sad for that. Look, Neka, it's okay. Mama and Papa has told me everything already. They let did? me yeah, let me quickly buy what I want to buy, then we can hurry to the village, okay? Yeah. Brother, I, there is this place I'm staying. There was this very good doctor that helped me. He gave me an accommodation. Brother, I would want you to see him, please. Okay, if okay. I follow you to the village. All right, we will see him. But well, let me just buy what I came to buy. Then we can go and see him, then go to the village. All right? Okay, Come here. Prince okay. Cousin, we were given seven days to look for Nega and bring her to her position as the future queen. Seven days <sighs> has come and gone. And you know, the throne of Aloma kingdom cannot continue to lie fallow without a king. You know, there is no time left. What next are you planning to do? As regard to this? Oh no. Honestly, I don't know what next to do. I've searched for Nega everywhere. And she's nowhere to be found. 
Can I suggest something? As it pleases you. Since my son have tried severally to get this girl, but she's nowhere to be found. Can we look for alternative? At least to crown my son. I mean, can we look for another woman? Even if it's from this village. Hmm. It is only the chief priest that has the power to decide on this. However, we will summon the chief priest, you know, to decide on what to do. Please, you people should do that fast. I am tired of all this. Be good. I'm tired. So I am. I'm tired too. I'm tired. The only thing. Nika, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you for coming. Me, I miss you. I've been searching for you all this while. Hey, please come in, come in. No, 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 no. This is Nika and, and, and the father. Guards! No. Guards! No. Oh, no, we are grateful. The Crown Prince of Anema Kingdom, Prince Gose, I greet you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, oh, no. Everything you told me in my house when you came, I explained to my kinsmen. And they said they have forgiven Prince Gozia. That if there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. So we are here to discuss the way forward. <coughs> it's here, baby. I must say that I am happy. You are a man. The gods of this land will continue to bless you. He said... Uh, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Dalo, If one man come to a corner, big. He said... Thank you. I just want to say thank you once again for what you've done for me and to this kingdom. May the gods of our land bless you and your family. <clears throat> um, I want to thank everyone here for this reunion. And to my in-law to be Prince Gozier Udonka. I heard your boss fired you because you ended your marriage with his daughter. Obu Well, it's okay. But well, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Um, well, um, there's this company I bought in Patakot that produces beef veggies. That is why I came back from abroad. I would like to make you the MD of the company. Hmm? Or rather, ask you to be the MD of the company. Hey! Brother? Yes. Brother, are you serious? Well, so that way you can employ who you want to work for you and you know, direct them on how you want them to work for you. Hey! God. Oh God, 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 thank you. 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 Thank you.
every cost that we handle. <laughs> <laughs> I've been for this man no name. Oh. Eh? I like it, Kangi. Hey! I like I'm this man. Well, oh. Hey! Well, that's not all. That's not all. Let me land. Hey. Well, um, my prince, you know your visitors will not come to this place looking like this. So I would, you know, order some contractors to come, bring down this place and then build you a defeating duplex for your status. Hey! hey. <laughs> It was a wonderful day. Yesterday's coronation was powerful. With your support, with your help. So I just want to thank you all for all you did yesterday. It wasn't easy. I really do appreciate it. Oh no. Yes. I owe you one. I'm a Invisible mother. Oh no. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, oh no. My mother. Oh, my baby. Yeah. <laughs> my beautiful daughter. Oh, she just looks so charming. Yes, so. <laughs> like her mother. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Baba, you woke up. Oh, my son. And what are you doing here? Linda. What are you doing in my house? What's the problem? Who she to you? What? This is my fiancé, the one I want to marry. And who is this girl to you? That's my sister. What's going on? Your sister? Yes. What? Get out of this place! I don't want to see you here! Neka, Neka, come Rather back. tell her to get out. Can someone tell me what's going on? What's going on? This lady. This lady almost ruined my life. I did nothing to you. I did nothing wrong. You did! I did nothing! You did, brother. She's the lady that took Gauthier away from me. She took Gauthier away from me. She treated me like trash. But you're having now, anyways. You're having to yourself. You want to marry your brother too? Mm -hmm. You want to marry him? Yes! Also, now you want to have my brother? Look. No, you want to have my brother? Oh my Over God. my dead body. I need you Over guys. my dead body, hear me? The king is with you. Brother, she's a devil. What are you doing with her? Please, I need you to come down. She's evil. Bring her to me on hold. The king was to sleep. Just relax. I am calm. Then stay calm. Don't even tell me about her. How come I'm just finding out she's a sister? I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. The king wants to talk to you. But of you. Yes, I didn't plan for all this drama. Look, I need you to calm down. Can you just calm down? I'm down. The king is waiting. The king is calling the of you. Please. How are you? I'm fine, my king. How are you? What are you trying to do? It's okay. My You're trying to shake her? It's okay. Calm down. Okay? How are you, my friend? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. To err is human. To forgive is divine. 
We just have to learn to forgive each other. We all make mistakes. It can happen to anyone. So I want you to take whatever that happened out of your heart that was in the past. Okay? She was never a bad person. She's she just, was. Come on. I wasn't. I'm not a bad person. It's, I'm a she's good person. Evil. Okay. And you okay. know it. Okay. She's evil. Okay. I said maybe okay. she has changed. It's, it's okay. Maybe yeah. it's okay. She has changed. Please. She, she's just, Pretender. she's just a stubborn, person. okay? But I believe she's a changed person now. I want us all to live in peace and harmony. That is what matters now. My love, at least you have me, don't you? Good, I love that smile. I am going to do something now. I want you to do the same. Okay? Mm. Promise me. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? Just watch me. Always be by your side. 